everyone's doing good. It's gonna be a very chill day today. Um, I'm very sleepy, my sleep schedule is so messed up, so I thought we would do a little watch party day, watch some ghost files, because, again, I have not, I've not got caught up on that, and I feel awful about that, because I love ghosts. And I watched, like, all of BuzzFeed Unsolved, so I think I would like it. Yeah, it's gonna be Ghost Files. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? You have Disappointed. You have a lot of cat name recommendations to go through. Um, chat gave you quite a bunch, and I think a lot of them are terrible. But some of them are really good. So you can sort th through those, <laughs> and hopefully you will get a good cat name out of something from that list. Oh, welcome in, raiders, by the way. Dilly Buggy, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, welcome in. We are watching some ghost files today. I've just gone live. Ooh. I vote calling the cat Danny DeVito. Cozy cow, very in character for you. Very in character. <laughs> Dilly Buggy, hope you had a fantastic stream. Hope you're doing good. Um, yeah, sorry I didn't stream yesterday. Uh, I play D&D. &D. And then after D&D, &D, I was very tired, so I went to bed super early. And then I woke up at 3 a.m. this morning because I went to bed so early last night. But then, after waking up at 3 a.m., I did some work, and I'm like, okay, let me take a quick little nap. And next thing you know, I wake up, and it's 3 p.m. And I'm like, oh man, that's a messed up sleep schedule. <laughs> Will you watch Debrief after the Ghost Files episode? Sure. Sure, absolutely. I really like the captions for this episode already. An audiovisual warning that this episode is perhaps more stupid than usual, so please beware. This episode is um the Nightmare Nuns of St. Ignatius is this episode, which Elliot said was their favorite episode, so I think it's good. I think it's good. Let me stop the uh -doo -doo music in the background. <laughs> Oh, is someone getting ads? Okay, let's wait a hot second till the the ads are done and played through so we don't, you know, start while people aren't watching. Um, also, thank you guys for the hype train and thank you all for resubscribing. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you haven't gotten bored of uh, sleepy streams yet. <laughs> you see, I like to add variety to the streams to keep things interesting. And I figured we haven't really done... I mean, last time we did a, a watch party stream, we were watching... The Roblox movie. We were watching the Roblox movie. <laughs> that was the last thing we did I that we watched. Months. Have a chilled stream and hydrate. <gasps> Artistic Devin. Thank you for the eight months, Devin. Hope you're doing good. Hope us all is going well for you. Thank you very much for the eight months. We were watching the, um, I don't even remember what it was called. It was the Roblox movie. <laughs> I think this will be equally as stupid, so yeah. Um, oh, it's called The Last Guest. Yeah, we were watching The Last Guest. So, you know what? Stay hydrated. Make sure you got some water. Make sure you got some drinks that you enjoy. Make sure you got some snacks. Maybe get cozy with a blanket or whatnot, because this episode is an hour. <laughs> this episode is an hour long. I didn't realize it was that long. I thought it was going to be like 40 minutes this is an hour long episode, so it's gonna be it's gonna be very very chill. What's Ghost Files? It's the it's the show with Shane and Ryan and, and they're ghost hunters. But it's it's funnier than a ghost hunting show because it's not like serious ghost hunting. It's like joke ghost hunting. And it's Shane and Ryan. Tag yourself. Are you a Shane or are you a Ryan? Also, I hope you don't mind. I feel like I'm the type of person that I'm gonna pause a lot just to talk. <laughs> So I'll have I have chat open. I'll be looking between chat and the the actual screen. Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? Oh. All right, let me know. I'm going to have to mess with the volume. Let's see. Nope, that's really loud. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, I feel you like this that? I did hear something. Thumps from upstairs, things crackling behind walls. Is this solid? Really one of the more unnerving places we've been. The vibes in this room are off the charts bad. Whoa, whoa there's two of them. I know. The shadows belong to me! Hi, my name is... 
I love this opening so much. Which one is Ryan and which one is Shade? Shane? You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> I like the, the production budget for Ghost Files. Also, I do want to say, I've only seen two episodes. This is the third episode, I think. The first episode was a sanatorium, and the second episode was Alcatraz. And I watched those yesterday, and then I'm like, hold on. Let me watch this on stream, because I know we all like silly ghosty stuff. This seems right up our alley. Welcome to Ghost Files, where we take your evidence and our tools Shane, into the field Ryan. to expose the supernatural. My partner, a skeptic. Myself, a believer. Both <laughs> of us, truth seekers. This week, our team traveled to Colfax, Washington. Go. Strange kid, thank you for the six months. Thank you for half a year. To investigate thank you. St. Ignatius you. Hospital. Oh, a hospital. All right. I thought this was a nunnery. It's actually like Waverly, except a little smaller and more scary. It's like it concentrated all the horror into a smaller package. Well, less to, for you to traverse. That's true. Nice? <laughs> that is true. It's like a moth flew into a my mouth. A moth flying into your mouth? You got a big mouth? <laughs> yeah, I do. I actually have a really small mouth. That's true. Yeah. Or does it just look small me. because your head is so big? I actually never thought about that. Well, it's perspective. They are professional ghost hunters. Oh, okay. This is their Built job. In 1893 by the Sisters of Charity, St. Ignatius Hospital was conceived to provide health care for people in an area of Washington that had limited access. Over its 71 years in operation, the hospital would see countless deaths, ranging from accidents to sickness, including some brought on by the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic. After closing its doors to patients in 1964, the building would serve as a nursing home until 2000, when it was shuttered falling into disrepair before reopening its doors in modern times to those curious as to what is rumored to remain inside. A lot of people died at this hospital, sounds like. A whole lot. Now, there's a lot of conflicting reports out I'll there. I'll turn some the volume up. Hundreds, thousands, perhaps, and some say, I don't know. But I mean, that feels like par for the course, though, right? Is that what better? is a hospital if not a place where people often die? Well, especially a hospital where it's reported that people with the Spanish flu went to. And at that time, it was hard to keep track. Unfortunately. Yeah. It was a killer. It was very effective at what it did. Yeah. Killed. Yeah. The hospital sits in the middle of a forested area in Colfax, Washington, and at the time of construction was the largest building in eastern Washington. Measuring in at 50,000 square feet, the hospital has five floors with both an east and a west wing with the west wing reportedly you know what i hate is these reminds me of like the really big maps in phasmophobia why is it five floors that's creepy i don't like that i would be terrified considered untreatable i would be a bad ghost hunter i wouldn't want to go inside the morgue the building <laughs> itself is a visual feast for those with an appetite for horror with decaying walls, exposed ceilings, and just an overall sense of, hey, this place is awful. <laughs> no. That the higher you go up, the worse the activity gets. And as such, we'll begin our journey on the first floor and work our way up to the nuns' I feel quarters. like, I feel like the lower you go. We've also placed cameras and audio recorders in two of the more active parts of the building in hopes that we catch activity when we're elsewhere. I feel like One the lower the you go should be the more haunted. Haunting hallway and the second in the aforementioned the hilariously basement. horrific nun's quarters. And finally, to end the investigation, Shane and I will each be forced to explore the yeah, closer entire to hell. hospital yeah. one at a time. Because <laughs> a fortune teller once told me I'd die on camera, and she seemed like she needed a win. Any questions? No, I'm excited to get Big in boy. here. I'm excited to get in here and um, have a good time, you know? We're going to have such a good time. It's going to be so much fun. I love it so much. You, me, and all the sisters, huh? <laughs> sister, sister, and Mr. Mr. <laughs> hey, I like the sound of that. Okay. I don't. <laughs> Why do we do this? Because it was what we were born to do. <laughs> okay. For you guys at home, we have to put these masks on because it is gnarly in here. Yeah, that 
It looks like <laughs> a place where dead people were. This is dank. Not, not the good kind. Not the good kind. Starting on the first floor, our first room we'll visit is the morgue, which reportedly housed the untreatable. They're and going to the morgue first? For, that's the worst room in a hospital. The morgue, that's where the dead people go. The, if you're gonna find ghosts, you're gonna find them in the morgue. In ironic fashion, this marks the second time we've started our journey where most people's ends. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Really impressive, honestly. It takes a lot of uh, time for a place to decay in such a naturally horrifying way. You know, it occurred to me, Shane, that other than maybe Undertakers, we probably have been in more morgues than most humans. I guess than most humans, yes. That's most. fair to say, yeah. Like, it's not common for someone to be like, oh, I've been in 15 morgues. I don't remember my first morgue experience. You know, they, I don't find them very daunting. Well, you won't remember your last morgue experience either. <laughs> Now that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that? This is already a very oh, dumb episode. Jesus I love Christ, it. Christ, scared the <laughs> shit out of me. This a, appears to be a boiler Just room. more boxes of clothes for some reason. Oh, the bat! It's the bat! <laughs> Where's the bat? Cool. Yeah, we got that. Why are you still in there, you freak? <laughs> There's never just one bat, right? You're gonna stay to figure it out. There's in there. There's gotta be more. He's broken. That bat. Where did that bat go? I don't know. I'm so preoccupied with the bats. Well, yeah, I'm gonna leave you here to the bat, and I'm gonna. They're leave bat you hunters to now. Oh. And I'm gonna go, and he's a freak. <laughs> Talk about a nightmarish place to put your router. <laughs> you imagine your Wi-Fi goes down every time you have to reset it. You come down here with that fucking bat. <laughs> strong signal, though. Honestly, it's impressive. There's a giant. They put, they like... put their router in the morgue with the bats. Excuse me. Is it functional? A fallen elevator shaft like we're in the twilight zone? <laughs> yeah. It's a real party in here, honestly. I'd like to leave. Okay, here's a room full of garbage. Let me check this out. And of course he goes in. Yeah, that's gross. Yeah, you, you said it yourself. It's a room full of garbage. It's a room full of garbage if I've ever seen one. I don't know what you expected. That I would be my room. In there, but well, I just felt like I was if I was a, a ghost. Room full of garbage. <sighs> Any bats? What was that? What? I saw like something float like right here. It looked like an orb in real life. An IRL orb. I'm gonna pause it really quickly to address the poll that we have going on. Do you believe in ghosts? Nope. Yep. I'm on the fence. Only five people here don't believe in ghosts. You want me to blow your mind? I don't believe in ghosts. I love ghost games. I like ghost shows. I do not believe in ghosts. I'm putting in my vote right now. I'm not a believer. Prove me wrong. Ghosts. I've never seen that before. <laughs> well, this is all horrible, so maybe we should stop in here. Plot what? twist, plot this twist. You know how amazing. much I love ghosts? I don't believe in them. To me, they're like unicorns. Not real, but I think they're really cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fake. I'm a fake ghost lover. I mean, I know I love them. I think they're really cool. I want them to be real, but I don't believe in them. This is a challenge. I'm challenging the ghosts to make themselves known to me. <laughs> Maybe. Really yeah, perhaps. Hello? It's like a mini body shoot. My name's Ryan. Can you say <laughs> anything to communicate with me? Plot twist for you Jesus guys. Christ. This is Betrayed. one of the rare times where I'm like, where are we going? Hello? Is there anybody in here? Okay. Well, this is all awful. If there's anything in here that would like to communicate with us, can you show us a sign? Can you move something? Can you perhaps touch one of us? Why are you in here still? Why haven't you moved on? How much would it, would it take for you to have to spend the night in this room? No money on earth. No money on earth. No money on earth. I would do it for I'd a dollar. Like 2,000 bucks. Okay. That's Way too low. <laughs> Our next room is the first floor bathroom, which, like a Taco Bell bathroom, is said to be home to very impressive <laughs> energy. It's here that famed internet personality Garrett Watts captured an extremely clear <laughs> Like a Taco Bell bathroom. <laughs> for us, he's actually here with us to tell us about it. Garrett? Oh, oh God. Oh, shoot. What, well, I missed it. Who's Garrett? No, that's fine. That's, that's fine. how it goes. Welcome to the Boo Bunker. The Boonker. Is that what you're calling it? The Boonker. Okay. It's a Boonker. The Boonker. Okay. It looks really, really nice. I don't have anything this impressive. No, we spent $10 million. Why are people saying Garrett in all caps like they know Garrett? Like on a personal level. 
Where does he come from? On this whole setup. So if I go back there and press buttons, don't touch them. All but right. That's not because they're fake. It's because oh, he's a YouTuber. Oh, okay. Sure. It's and then we would thing. have to call it's the president. Mess. There's a whole lot of things. Well, there. you all are certainly more professional than myself. My friend Andrew and I, when we went into St. Ignatius, went in with basically like toys. Yes. But you know, they were effective toys. I thought they were really effective. Yeah. On that note, These you did capture. So this first piece of evidence, this is an EVP that you caught in the bathroom. Oh, so we were told that that was like one of the spookiest places was that downstairs bathroom for some reason? Yes. I mean, we didn't hear it until afterwards, like until I was editing and stuff. But yeah, so I heard that name and it was disgusting. <laughs> we have our special equipment here to play your EVP. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh. Where's your ghost thing? Wait, what the heck? What, what? What you hear, dude? You're scaring me. My name, but it sounded like it came from behind me. Where's your ghost thing? <laughs> Where's your ghost thing? <laughs> it's so scary. It almost sounds. That's such a clear Andrew. Where did that come from? The... Someone Can we said do that, that one more time. Actually, like, let's, like, let's rewind that. Demonic. Where's your ghost thing? Where's your ghost thing? Where's your ghost thing? Where's your ghost thing? Andrew. I mean, you definitely hear the end. Andrew. Yeah, that was and you've never had sort of two voices come out of you at once. Um. <laughs> no. I thought his name was Garrett, who's Andrew. I think he's telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. Is Andrew his friend? I'm lost. I'm <laughs> shamed. <laughs> okay. Okay. You talked to Garrett Watts last time. Okay. He was our pal. The sweetheart. Got it. He actually said that, you know, he thought this hospital couldn't handle us and that we might be a little too advanced for this hospital. Yeah, we're pretty rock and roll. You know? I mean, we do have a reputation. Yeah, we're sort of bad boys, uh, the paranormal world. So I get it if you're uh, you intimidated, know, intimidated, starstruck, uh, yeah, some, yeah. one of those words, maybe somewhere in between. We're, we're people, just like, well, you're goats, you're not people. We're, we're people, just like people. Why don't you prove our guy wrong? Why don't you uh, go ahead and just say our name loud and clear so we know that you're down to party? I'm listening. Just say Ryan. Or Shane. Also, for the record, you can say any word right now. Yeah. You could say Jimmy. You could say hey, <laughs> big bitch. You could say hey, big bitch. <laughs> hey, little bitch. Big bitch and little bitch. That's what we're known. Wow. Already wow. Long. Now we're now some pounds. less than three. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much for the four months. This here is Thank uh, you. obvious. Gorgeous. The obvious <laughs> takes environmental readings that spirits are said to manipulate, such as temperature or electromagnetic fields. I want one of and those. Them into corresponding words or phonetic sounds. Should we do phonetic or should we do dictionary? Mode? I want I like one dictionary of those. Mode personally. Let's do phonetic first then. Yeah, right. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. He just goes. Ah. Oh, well, maybe if it goes Shane, oh, Ryan. Oh. See. Got a okay, lot to say you today. got a lot to say, yeah. My name is Ryan, this is Shane. Can you say Ryan or Shane back to us if you want to communicate, if you have it in you? Quiet now, huh? Maybe you embarrassed. Perhaps. <laughs> ghost on a ghost keyboard. <laughs> We're gonna go to dictionary mode because you clearly don't want to use this. I love dictionary. There we go. It's so fun. What if we got a Shane and Ryan on the dictionary? I would love it. I would love it. I doubt that's in the dictionary, but. Nerd. <laughs> God damn it. He got LOL and nerd. <laughs> you see, if I was a ghost, that's the type of ghost I would want to be. I would just want to make fun of and harass the ghost hunters who come into my territory. <laughs> LOL Nerd <laughs> Fuck you ghost <laughs> Dude Touche though Dude that's very good We've never been so owned by our own <laughs> Beware Okay what should we beware of Since you've already insulted us <laughs> But we've got one of those We do, we, we own one Yeah It's ours It's in Texas Is that the Goatman bridge a bit of an empath Empath are you an empath? Do you feel what I'm feeling right now? Okay, yeah, you're a smooth guy. Pretty smooth. Can you say what room we're in right now? Come on, you already called us a nerd. Okay. 
Well, we're going to leave this Nerd. room. We might come back here later. Maybe, Maybe we'll even take a poo by our lonesome. I don't know that any of the toilets are functioning. I don't think so. Ooh, I don't think that's going down. I think you'd fall in the toilet. Onward. Our next area is the second floor, which, like the rest of the building, is a nightmare palace. It's also <laughs> where paranormal <laughs> investigator Elizabeth Nicholas captured a very interesting EVP. I went to the kids' room with my friend, and we just started asking kids general room? questions. Your name, your age, things like that. We didn't know we got a response until after we got home. She She's got a skull in the background. I like her. Look, she got her pink gaming chair and a skull. Let's go. Let's go. It, up with our video Let's go. Evidence, it perfectly matched up to when I had thought I felt somebody pulling on my pant leg like a kid was trying to get my attention. You ready to hear this EVP? Uh, of course I am. I was born ready. Can you tell us how old you are? Can you tell us how old you are? A no. no. It's 12. Oh, it's a 12. We don't really need to have it play again. You're not going to like it, but it says 12. It's kind of breathy. It's kind of like it's a little baby. 12. Wow. Yeah. It's always breathy. Yeah. 12. It's very breathy. So this is the second floor, and this is where Elizabeth Nicholas captured an EVP. Did you hear that? I did hear something. Second floor, and this is where Elizabeth Nicholas captured an EVP. And this is where Elizabeth Nicholas captured an EVP. What's that noise? Hello? Is there something here with us? You talked to our friend Elizabeth. She asked you how old you were and you responded. How old are you? Can you tell us your name? Now these red squares represent rooms that are particularly active. Oh, let's see here. They mark them? Oh yeah, that's hot. Is it, is it a hot zone? A lot of ghosts in there. Yep. Yo! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, away. I almost singed my toe. <laughs> How old are you? Are we talking to Elizabeth? Uh, no, no, Elizabeth is the person who submitted the evidence. <laughs> oh, thanks, Elizabeth. <laughs> Hello? Is there anybody up here with us on the second floor? Thought I heard something. Wait, Ryan, it's a room. <laughs> this one, right? Let's see what's in there. No. Oh, no, I <laughs> Hey, this room's actually pretty well kept. Look at this paint. This looks like fresh paint. Yeah, but look over here. That, less so. Less so. And you would see someone totally taking a dump if you open this door. Okay, so here's oh, where we're gonna set up. a nice little boring Hey, look, one. there's a... Who's that? I don't know. That looks scary. That looks like Grandpa Munster. What the yeah. fuck? We're gonna set Who's up a little game here. You know how we've done the Estes spirit box where we use one of us as a speaker for oh, the spirit box? Oh, this is pretty box? cool. Yes. The spirit box rapidly scans radio signals to create white noise through which spirits Just like in Phasmophobia. We're gonna do a little thing called spirit box hide and seek. I'm listening. One of us will be listening to the spirit box and the other one will go hide well, who's going to be the one Why? hiding is the question. But That's I don't want to hide. Point. I think you should hide because you're going to do it. Don't you want to deliver quality content to I the think, watcher audience? I think you'd be better at hiding than I would. We'll but stand. I'm a big, giant tree man. Okay, let's rock, paper, scissors. How about that? All right. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Shoot. Fuck! Great. <laughs> what if I just leave? Is that coward? Yeah, kind of like that, actually. It's almost That's exactly like that. I'm going to give you 20 seconds to hide. You better hurry. And I don't want you to stand in a corner. I should walk in a room and not be able to see you. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 2, 1. This entire time, I haven't heard anything, you know, I'm just hearing static on here, but. If there's anything in with, here with me, remember, you're speaking through my tall friend over there. I am in the A room. So you could represent that by saying the A room, or perhaps I'm coming for you, Ryan. The apple. Why are they doing the hide and seek? Uh, ghost, please point me in the right. Oh, I heard an all right, very clearly, actually. Oh, all right. I should go oh. to the right. All right. That kind of worked. Okay. Oh. That's the A room. Please continue to point me in the correct direction. Holy shit. I assume you're sort of floating throughout this floor in no clip mode. <laughs> I don't see Ryan in here. Tell him your name. What's your name? Any other clues? Say another word that starts with the letter A. Speak to me. Say an A word. Ryan. Say an A word. What do you hear? I hear some rock and roll music. Maybe that. Oh! You didn't hit take the you didn't take the hint. What hint? I said say something for A. Say something A, and it said all right. It did say all right. 
Because I'm in the A room. You're in a room. And I was like, I was talking to whatever was in you, and I was like, hey, I don't know what to tell you. He's, he, he's stupid. Oh, that's <laughs> well, I guess ghosts are real. Here's your, here's your thing. Here's I thought that was actually. Here's your thing. How should we do this? Yeah, so uh, it's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it always is. No, <laughs> oh, you were. I, I yeah, thought you were. <laughs> Our next room is on the third floor and is referred to as Rose's room. Rose was said to be a resident of the nursing Thank home you, in the worm. 1970s who reportedly suffered from dementia and mental illness. Because of her condition prior to her death, her ghost is not only angry, but also may still feel lost. An anger that will surely be quelled by Shane and I. Paranormal investigator Amanda Paulson perhaps captured Rose's- You see, I just feel like in, in you know, the argument of whether or not ghosts are real, they're only haunting like old places. But what about like modern day hospitals? Wouldn't modern day hospitals be haunted? Because people are also dying a lot in modern day hospitals. Presence with an elaborate so why setup. only we old places room where we had set up three flashlights on the shelf the <laughs> modern ghosts that use twitch emotes <laughs> had already been turned on when we felt a big presence enter the room and caught a stick figure show up on the sls camera we asked the figure to turn on the third flashlight and when we did we actually caught it reaching for the flashlight and turning it on a regular mag light when turned to the space between on and off can be turned into a touch lamp which you can ask spirits to manipulate. Ghosts only like to haunt place with like really, really old aesthetic. It's an aesthetic choice. Mm -hmm. However, the light will also randomly turn on and off in this setting. So responses need to be timely and repetitive for a compelling interaction. The SLS cam uses a grid of infrared light to recognize human-like objects in front of it, even in complete darkness. It's Val's birthday present to turn that on. It'll be just like a birthday cake. A b birthday cake? Ready, set, go. That ghost looks like he was dancing. Like okay. Oh, you look like a DJ. I know. Now I've perfectly calibrated. Uh, Whoa! Oh. Oh. Once more. <laughs> uh, I like the sound of that. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it? Uh, oh, okay. uh, Why is it doing? Oh. Is that you, Rose? Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Getting nothing essentially. I'm just like dance. Ah! What are you doing? Stop it! What is happening? Something's very wrong right now. Brian, thank you for the right 100 now, bits, Max. Like thank you, you thank you. Who you are at this moment. <laughs> thank you. That's all I need. <laughs> oh, <Okay. laughs> oh, what are you doing? <laughs> all, right. all right. All right, Rose. You can use a spirit box to talk to us, but you could also. Hey, what the fuck? Who's that? Whoa. Oh what? shit, there's a skeleton by the TV. Wait, Rose, is that you? Can you turn on the flashlight? Why is it a flashlight? Oh, so what this thing is, by the way, if anyone here hasn't seen like the other episodes of Watcher, it, it looks for humanoid figures in the dark and then outlines them when it detects a humanoid shape on this screen, which I think is pretty neat and should be a piece of equipment in Phasmophobia. Thank it's you very dancing. much. It's dancing. It's dancing. What? <laughs> Look at this shit, it's dancing! Oh, it's that doing- is... I'm not even kidding, it's doing stay alive. It's doing the fucking- Now it's sort of turning into a spider, and bending all its bones like that lady in old- Rose Dang, Rose has some TV. moves. Turn on the light. Are you in here with us right now? You can either talk to us, or you can turn on that light. She got some flexible oh. legs. Oh. Oh. The light turned on. Okay, Rose, I'm gonna need you to turn off the light right now. I can see you trying. Turn off the light, Rose! Look at the arms, look at the arms, look at the arms. Rose! Oh shit. 
kind of does like a little shoulder motion. She's quite proud of herself for turning off the light. She's like, yeah, I turned off the light. This has not what happened you before. We've never seen a, a skeleton seen a show when there's no person there. Could you come through in the spirit box as well? Could you say Ryan or Shane or Rose or Veer? Oh. What was that? Say Coors. Rose, if you're in the room, turn the light on for us right now. She's like crawling in the TV. <laughs> oh, oh <laughs> fuck, that happened. On. It happened when she did, her arm went up like this. Rose, if you want a Coors banquet, turn that light off. Okay. Looks like she wants a Coors banquet. I, I guess she and wants. Guess, guess what the big boy passed. Mama needs her medicine. <laughs> it said that Rose was a big fan of Coors banquet. It was her drink of choice. It was said to be her medicine, one beer a day. This is not sponsored by Coors. This is only for you, Rose. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> if you're here with us, this is to you. I love that they have that with them. Oh my God, it's so good. It's really tasty. You gotta start doing this on every hunt. Is I, that ill-advised? Would I don't that know. be too many spirits? <laughs> well, how about this? Let's finish ours. Yeah. We'll leave it on there in honor of her, and then maybe we'll come back and it'll be knocked over because she's pissed off we drank it all. That'd be great. Yeah, I thought you were going to say we should leave one there with some in it. and I, For some reason, that doesn't work for me. It doesn't feel right. We can't leave a no, wounded no, soldier. That's, that's, that's disrespect uh, to the Coors family. Mm -hmm. You know, this is brewed with 100% Rocky Mountain water. Next Since episode, sponsored by Coors. I was just about to say that. Not, not, even, I'm not even remotely reading that. sponsored. I'm not even but reading I got to say, this is some of the best beer I've ever tasted. <laughs> there you go, Rose. Right there. Knock that bad boy off when we come back. Two new tall boys for you. That's right. Add them to the collection. All right. Uh, what are we doing now? Rose? Shortly after this, we picked up another presence in Rose's room standing next to our producer, Lizzie. Oh. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> shit. <laughs> right next to Lizzie. <laughs> Whoa, there's two of them. I know. <laughs> Lizzie, move your arms. I just want to see if it's 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 messing. Nope, it's definitely not you. Oh shit, dude, that's fucking creepy as fuck. Here. Like a spider woman. Yeah, move over. That is a little bit creepy. Oh, <laughs> uh, she will jump into your body. <laughs> she's gone. She's gone. She's gone. <laughs> The next room we'll explore is right next door in 312 and is reportedly haunted by a man named Michael who was in a wheelchair during his stay. Every time at you drink from now on, to toast to Rose. Though, it's said that the dude was apparently a total fox. <laughs> However, he also had a bit of a temper, the nuance of humanity. Also, this room is apparently infested with flies. Well, heck, it's just occurring to me. Yeah. We haven't had a lot of flies on our journeys. And that's always in those demonic films. Yeah, yeah, people, flies. yeah, women burping up flies and all yeah. that. Or just they're True. around. Yeah. Have we ever been looking for the spirit of a ghost man who was just super hot? That was in the research. This I mean, man is, God, I mean, is supposed to be super a looker. I'm sure we've caught some hotties in the past. That's true. You some, know, Some zaddy ghosts out there. But a, a temper, too, so very kind of like a Bradley Cooper type. Bradley Cooper, so Michael Shannon. Michael Shannon. I don't... Michael Shannon's not traditionally hot, in my opinion. I think he's a sexy man. Tight, tight skin. You see the veins in his neck. Okay. I have coffee, by so the way. So now we're going into Michael's room. We set up a REM pod in there, which will detect if he comes near it. And we have, of course, our SLS. Hey, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're... Uh, Ooh. Michael, move towards the window if that's your name. If your name is Michael, move towards the window. If your name is not Michael, move towards the window. If you despise us and want us to leave, walk toward the window. Yeah, chat is if very familiar with flirting with ghosts. With your life, <laughs> walk towards the window. Jane, what are you doing? Don't walk towards the window. I know what I'm doing. What are you doing? I'm hunting ghosts. <laughs> hey, Mike. Mike. Hey, Mike. Mike, level Mike. with us. Mike. Hey, come on. Hey, come on, Mike. You know, we met your friend Rose. She was much cooler than you. She was dancing up a storm. She was down to clown. I don't say that lightly, but yeah, she right. was D D D. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, 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 you didn't like that, did you? Oh, you went all the way to yellow. Can you make it move past that? A little beep. The temperature's going down. Michael, are you here with us? Michael. 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 
<laughs> okay, I think we're done here. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna pick I'm up my. I'm surprised. I'm really. Want, I was looking oh forward to the flies. Yeah, that's wandering. just me. I pick oh, is that a fly? No. Also found it a appears to be a no fly zone. Recipe. <laughs> we'll try and make it later this week. Keep me posted on that. I love this candy making arc that you're on. Thank you, Malto. <laughs> this is free. <laughs> no flies. Hey, there's a dead fly. Where? Yeah, I gotta find another dead fly. There's gotta be another one here. Let me check the bathroom for flies. I'd love to see it. That's dead. good. Thank now they're girl. fly hunting. Hey, there's another one. Found two dead flies. Wow. Cool. Find a third one. Three dead flies. No way. Oh, now this is actually kind of fun. That's amazing. Four. Holy smokes. Five. <laughs> six. Seven. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Hang on. There's dead flies all over the ground. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. Dude, you're doing great, bud. Right. There's so many dead flies on the ground. Wow, I see that. That's really cool. Real we should <laughs> leave, though. <laughs> hey, we should leave, though. Hey. <laughs> coming out of Michael's room. First it was the bats, and now it's the flies. Oh, by the way, that beeping machine, someone asked what that was. Essentially, it goes off and it beeps the closer that something is to it. Huh. Wow. And it they're also detects like temperature flies. change, I believe. <laughs> well, they're dropping like flies. All right, I'm Malto, someone's in a goofy mood. Generally. But before we do that, <laughs> Let's talk about that. Who's it? Roxy says exorcists and exterminators. <laughs> oldest and most famous ghost, a man named F. E. Martin. Oldest e. for the Martin. fact that he was the hospital's first death in 1893. Famous for being crushed between two railroad cars. Damn! That's a way to go. <laughs> getting squished? I'd hate to get squished. Actually, new fear. Getting squished. Between two railroad cars? I mean, between anything. Becoming I don't want to be squished. Yeah, he was taken to this hospital. They tried to treat him. He was actually one of their first patients ever and then died. So not a good opening for this You gotta hospital. imagine that's like a tube of toothpaste. You got guts shooting out your eyes and your, your butthole. Oh! You know? Every orifice is just leaking viscera yeah it's like spring loaded <laughs> i didn't think about that but now i am so thank you for that interview. i don't know if that's I, you know i'm not a doctor clearly i bring them up because it may have <laughs> something to do with a piece of evidence captured i love by these guys garrett watts so can you just walk us through what happened garrett picture and how it came about so i went through saint ignatius before this is where this came from like i tried to shoot this video once upon a time but the technology just went like haywire you know how ghosts are with technology they don't, they don't like it they don't and they didn't like when I tried to shoot this video for the first time. And now this is not a yeah. photo per se. This yeah. is like you kind of panning around with your camera and it's a frame, It was, correct? yeah, it was like one frame of it and then it was like gone. Oh, it is so scary. I do not like that one bit. Okay, do we believe that is my question. Do we believe that? Do we believe that is it edited? But here's the thing. People in chat were like, Garrett, like they know Garrett, like they trust Garrett. Would Garrett Photoshop? Don't think so. He seems like a trustworthy guy. But you know, that's, I don't know, that seems, mm, no, mm, no. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, Garrett, this is probably one of the creepiest yeah. photos of an apparition I've ever seen. I know I've said, I hope I run into some of these on some of our locations. It looks like a mummy. It does kind of look like a- It looks like a mummy. But does he look like he got smushed between two railroad cars? Yeah, he looks a little bit flat in the midsection. Kinda. Maybe. What a view of the city. That's nice. Maybe. All right, that does it for the photo session. We'll look at those photos later. Your back hurt? No, I'm just, you know, you tired. Getting, getting distracted. Getting a little, get a little washed in the ghost hunting. You know game? what I think? I think they should be taking pictures, not with like their iPhones, but with like a Polaroid camera. I feel like you you should get more ghostly looking things with something like a Polaroid or something, an old sort of camera, you know, an old camera, not a new camera, you know, ghosts like old stuff. I think that's what we've determined. Yeah. I guess I'm, I'm yeah. a little tired. Uh, from <laughs> our backs are tired from us. Thanks uh, for the bits, by the, the way. The entire ghost hunting genre on, on, our, on, our, on our backs. Right. <laughs> My name's Ryan, and that's Shane. Hi. Could you make some noise for us to show us that you're here? You have to be committed to the aesthetic. Yeah, exactly. Polaroids all the way. Freak, so did you just fart? No, I didn't. I would let you know if I did. I'm proud of my farts. I know you are. Could you move some of those twigs? 
There's little sticks. Twigs. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> you know what? Like, you know, like a twig. That's what they look like. Effie, I'm gonna give you 30 seconds of silence to do whatever you want to show us that you're here, or anybody else in this hospital that wants to come party with us in this little Garrett Watts room. Please join us. 30 seconds for you. Let's turn our lights off. How about that? Sure. We're going to leave now. Effie, I'm sorry what happened to you. What happened to you? That sounds pretty brutal. Sounds like it sucked. Yeah. Sounds like it hurt a lot. But catch, we're going to go now. Catch you on the flip side. While we didn't recapture a photo similar to Garrett, we did capture this chilling voice just outside the same room with an audio recorder left recording when nobody was there. I hear it, I hear it. We land in the operating room where visitors report okay. feeling pain and discomfort of both the physical and emotional. Yeah, they're in a variety, hospital. Including stomach pain, nausea, Wait. fever, coldness, chills, back pain with bruising, oppressive weight, uncontrollable rage, and a whole <laughs> bunch of other things that are usually listed as side effects for over-the-counter medication. Have we felt these things on site? Not all of them at the same time. I'm not sure if this means we're gonna feel all of those things. That seems like a lot. I've experienced dizziness and uh, nausea, uncontrollable rage, but that was because of you. Yeah, you get um, that a lot. You gotta, um, you gotta talk to somebody about that. There's at least one report of spotting the apparition of an angry dude in an the doorway. An angry dude. And Garrett Watts captured a door slamming on its own in this area. So we were like just snooping oh. around this operating room and a door slammed shut like violently and it wasn't just like a... Uh, no. The thing about this place is it's dead quiet. I Besides believe that. Bats, and there are so many bats. Yeah. I don't like that. Maybe a so, yeah, bat definitely no, nothing it. like that. It was an unmotivated door slam. Okay. Which is pretty spooky. Yeah. Unmotivated well, door slam. Uh, camera's doing crazy stuff. Whoa. Dude, dude, dude. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That door just closed on its own. I swear, dude. Jesus. Are you kidding me? What are we doing? It's a thud. That's a thud. The door slamming yeah. is Listen, under, I've played like, enough spooky no, games. I know a door closing when I hear it. And it's it's funny because what you hear in my voice is kind of genuine like fear, I guess, because Andrew was reacting to something and I didn't know it was happening, so I was like, "Hey, hey, what's happening? What's happening?" Hey. <laughs> this was spooky, no doubt about it. The whole place is terrifying. Honestly, like even those things that we've just talked about, that was just like the surface of the glass. Is that the phrase scratching the tip surface? of the iceberg? Okay. Okay. Couldn't have been that one. I think that's not the door that slams, honestly. Maybe this? Yeah, but even that's pretty substantial. Maybe it was just a slam of some sort. Is there uh, somebody up here slamming doors or slamming wood? That sounds gross. Okay. That sounds, sounds not like, like what I meant. <laughs> I think there's a tough guy up here in the operating room. Some stink bugs. Is Can we a... see you slam some doors for us? Oh. What? What happened? It's a dead pigeon. Oh. Why are there so many animals in this building? Gross. That's <laughs> size. Sad. Pigeon. Oh, his eyes are sort of sunken at this point. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's, it's dead. Well, let's uh, get back to the ghost. Do you th now, do you think there's the ghost pigeons? Nerd in the first floor bathroom. I'm going to give you the opportunity to run your mouth again because I'm going to turn on my ovulus. I'm going to do phonetic mode first. Ghost this pigeon That's not great. slam bad, door. Bad. <laughs> what? What do you think it said? I think it kind of sounded like nerds are here. Nerds are here? I'm, we could play it back, <laughs> but it really sounded like nerds are here. Okay. Can you say that again? And while we're doing this, feel free to slam any doors or move anything in this room. Or slap my friend's glasses off of his big stupid face. Yeah, you can do that if you want. He's got a very slappable face. Okay, can you tell us what room this is? You son of a bitch. You're gonna make me do this, aren't you? No. 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 Go into dictionary mode. Dictionary mode, okay folks, dictionary mode. Here dictionary mode. I want you to tell me what room we are in right now, or I want you to call <laughs> us nerds again. <laughs> Let it be known how you feel I hope, about I it. I hope they get that there again. There you go, how about that? Cross. Cross total, I wonder if they mean, I mean, 
They could be talking about going up to the nun's quarters. Which oh, cross, cross, oh, or yeah. cross like oh. angry, you know? Oh, I'm very cross right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's your deal, dude? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that your answer? What's your deal? What's your name? Is your name Spirit? Weird name. We heard a lot about your uh, your famous anger, and this is very unimpressive. I haven't seen you slam one goddamn door since I've been here. I read it on the brochure. Oh my God, there's an angry guy angry here. Guy he slams a door oh, like he slams a door so hard it comes off the hinges. Oh, he'll scream! Not even a fucking squeak, dude. This is an embarrassing showing for you. Take your little ghost waffle <laughs> and grab the door and slam it as hard as you can. Oh, can you not do it? Is it too heavy for you? Oh, does it hurt your little ghost fingies? Does it hurt your little ghost fingies? Come on! Slam the door! It's not gonna happen. Did you kill this pigeon too? Did you snap his <laughs> neck? That's fucked up. That's a fucked up thing to do. I love how it always dissol like devolves into them just harassing the ghost. Bill. Is that your name, Bill? Bill. Give class. Bill clap. Bill give class. Are you saying you're taking us to school? Because I'm not seeing it. Bill. Where are you at, Bill? Slam the door, Bill! Come on! Where are you, Bill? You're not See, they like better be careful. The ghost is gonna start hunting soon. Like the big guy when See he's angry. See what I can do? I can, I can slam things! Don't get him angry. You're not gonna like him when he's angry. We came here to get the wits scared out of us and what's happening they just said him him what's him who me or him him or him him what did you <laughs> he said him kill what which one him show me that him <laughs> i'm gonna point to you and say him and you point to me and say him and then maybe he'll let us know him <laughs> him This is God in love. Oh, God love. God. Kill God. Kill God? Kill God. Kill God. Let's go up to the nun's quarters and kill God. Or see Bill. Watch Bill kill God. Watch Bill kill God. God creates Bill. Bill kills God. Woman inherits the earth. Moseying on up to the fifth floor is a room that people typically have an aversion to. The nun's quarters. The logical the conclusion. Have experienced being grabbed and have seen shadow figures and disembodied arms. They've also heard growling, and if there's any place that's unsettling to hear something demonic, it's inside a nun's No, court. I think it would be the morgue. Up that I still think that's the creepiest one place. Of this hospital's most famous ghost is, you guessed it, a nun. Her name is Sister Joanna, and while she died in 1929, it said her spirit remained. <laughs> Live, laugh, kill God. <laughs> but unfortunately, <laughs> it's also said that patients who reported seeing her would also soon pass away after their encounter. Well, they are, they're in a Two hospital. The meet greet, I guess. They're in a hospital, so they <laughs> would soon so pass away. So she was comforting people, but then... Yeah, so, you know, a, a nun with good intentions, but she yeah. kills you instead. <laughs> you see that nun, you're done. I like that. <laughs> That's pretty good. That should be your catchphrase. Well, I don't want that to be that, because then it might happen. Yeah. I truly hope we go up there and we see nun thing. So many, so many opportunities. So many opportunities. That's what you landed, yeah, I landed on that one. Ouch. You know, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> nun thing. <laughs> it's pretty rough. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that nonsense. Let's go find this nun. Oof. Nice. <laughs> well, it's all led up to the nun's quarters, and I got a feeling they're going to look. Whoa, I heard a little whisper over here. They're going to look. Maybe it was, maybe it was a r raccoon. Maybe it was I mean, another say, animal. I think a lot of this area is prone to Windiness. winds. Seems like we've got a lot of open windows and such, which isn't to say that oh. that wasn't, you know, the devil, but it's possible. Is that a horrifying really staircase? Yes, it is. Oh, not another nun pun! I, mean, I can admit that I too find this rather <laughs> horrifying. And uh, apparently they did Psychic not damage. Find men up in the <laughs> Thank you, Malto. Oh, well, well two of the manliest men who ever lived are about to uh, join the party. Oh, oh, man, that made me jump. This is the bell they used to ring, I guess, to signal they're here. Oh, oh. We're oh. here. The boys are here. <laughs> ring, ring. Little throwback. I know you don't like us up here. Love being in a place that's haunted. It has demonic activity with a bunch of religious posters on the wall. Yeah, what do we got here? Feels like we're in the end of a cult film. I'm gonna set up the REM pod in one of the other rooms in here. This so is quite creepy. Off, we know something's in there. Okay. 
What's the coon zone? <laughs> Joanna? Joanna! This is fucked. This, this is, is a, really a fucked this tableau, is, this if is I do a, say so myself. Hey, it's Jesus again. Arguably one of the worst rooms we've ever been in. Yeah, ever. This, this sucks. In <laughs> the oh what zone? My. This looks like your uh, <laughs> college dorm room. I was about to say, it feels familiar. What kind of college this dorm room? has to be one of the most Also, welcome in, Raiders. Skylark, thank you for the raid. Doesn't places that we've ever I have to agree yeah. with that. Well, the fact in. that we're going to be here alone later makes me want to throw up. <laughs> it's, it's not good. The vibes in this room are off the charts bad. Sister Joanna, could you say something? I'd like to hear a word. Can you say anything related to the room that we're in right now? It's Tina. Tina? Tina. Oh. Entered. Tina got cancered. And cancer big... energy won? What happened to Tina in here? I only know about Sister Joanna. Can you say none? <laughs> oh. It's giving me none thing. Oh, I thought the REM pot was going off. I think my ears are just ringing. Oh. What's that noise? Oh, fuck. The REM pot's going off. Oh. The is rim, somebody in there? The, ri the rim pod is the, the motion activated one. I will say, even though I do not believe in ghosts, if I was here and I got any sort of activity, I would be so creeped out. Like, I would get scared, even though I don't believe in ghosts. I would be terrified the entire time. Holy shoot. It it's just creepy. Ooh. Stop, stop, stop. Who's in this other room with the couch? Horrifying sight to see the room just lit up green. If, if Tina is in there, could you make that go off again? Can you step closer to that device? The temperature is spiking in there now. You're gonna be up here by yourself. I later. know. You think about that? <gasps> wicked. <laughs> well, wicked. <laughs> Very. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Very wicked. Pattern. All right, who's in here with me? Three, four, pinky. Pinky. <laughs> pinky. Uh, we left this REM pod uh, in here because we were curious if it would go off when we left, and it clearly did. Stop. <gasps> okay, why? Why do you want us to stop? We appear to be at a bit of a standstill here. Yes. You concur. No. <gasps> Later. <laughs> Did you just leave? <laughs> Deuces. I regret to say that we are going to be here individually later. I will not be spending too much time in here. You'll spend five to ten minutes up here. No, I will spend no, one I minute. No, I think five to ten minutes. I'll spend <laughs> one minute up we'll here. see what happens. Are you excited by that? You sitting there clapping? Oh! Are you, are you sending us away? I would love to go away. Do you want us to go away? Step away from that if you want us. Yeah. I'm turning this thing off. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Mark. Did it say Mark? It just said Mark. Mark is our cameraman. <gasps> what do you want with Mark? If it said Ryan <laughs> and then Shane after two. Carrie. Wants to carry Mark like a baby? <laughs> I care. Oh, Mark does carry. Stop being so cryptic. What do you want to do with Mark? What? <laughs> inside. Oh, well, well, sounds like the nun might have a crush on you. Mark. I think it said Mark, and then it said carry, but then it said position, <laughs> and then inside. I think this ghost wants to be inside. Or maybe not in like a non-sexual. Oh, maybe a possession. Like a possession, yeah. <laughs> do you want to be inside, Mark? I mean, it's a pretty simple question. It's, it doesn't get more... Sandy. <laughs> okay. Character. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna leave. Time to exit the coom zone. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. For now. <clears throat> oh my god. Now we move to the final phase of the hunt. 
our individual investigation of the entire you see that that hospital. seems like solid evidence to me hospital as usual i'm convinced suddenly unpleasant <laughs> do you have any final words of advice because we're going to be in this place alone oh and I mean, man like, alone just one of us in the one at a time and there's this really <laughs> really like narrow staircase yes. that goes up to the nuns that. quarters you go up there alone and just sit in the dark for at least like hey guys love or ghost for tina I'm going for love. Find yourself to do it for a minute. She's got a sense of humor. Dog. She's funny. Well, you got me all fired up. Someone now. or something will give you a little touch on the back. We'll and he Ooh. has the ability to make me do whatever he wants me to do, so I'm gonna yeah, probably have to do love that. all the way. <laughs> how we can move it. And if you want me to ask Okay, him to I don't do like that. where this is going. The Maybe dynamic we'll... is yeah. That... Anyways, thanks for coming to the bunker. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. This is so nice and good luck with St. Ignatius. It's a terrifying place. We are brothers in arms, that is. You ready to do this? Yeah, I, I feel pretty good about it. I'm a soldier in the war against the ghosts. <laughs> we're in the trenches. Yeah. I, I'll go to wherever I'm dispatched. You just tell me where to head, Sarge. I'm gonna chime in <laughs> in the last five minutes to give you some instructions. Okay. Take it seriously, how about that? I always For do. yourself, for yourself. I always do. And before you go, just know, I'm gonna be watching you. Oh. There's security cameras all over this place. So I can't do my usual pervy stuff that I do on no. my investigation. Okay, good to Don't know. Don't do all the weird stuff you normally do with the dolls. <laughs> okay, good to know. Good to know. Let's go to the war room. Oh, yeah. All That's right. pretty oh, sick. I'm walking around by myself now. That's cool. So here's how our solo investigations will work. They have Shane the whole camera set up. We have 20 minutes of solid alone time in the location. Shane will go first, and at the end of his time, we'll hide a walkie-talkie in a room inside the building. Once Shane returns, he'll reveal to me the walkie-talkie location. Then, it's my turn. I'll enter the building, and only after radioing back to Shane with the hidden walkie-talkie will the clock start on my 20 minutes of solo. I like that they don't have to do that, the but they make a game out so right of it. Now we're in the war room, we're looking at all the Something I can never unhear is how once is doubled. Something I... Something I can... What? Security cameras at St. Ignatius. You Paige, what does that right mean? There, sauntering around. What? What looks like the second floor. Places, uh... Oh, and the explanation? Is the is audio doubled? One of the more <laughs> unnerving places we've been. I'll admit it. I've never one noticed that, but now I will. The cameras are, so I know to stay near them. That way, if I pass out or get killed, you guys will see. Creepy people. It's creepy ass furniture. I, I actually will very rarely see myself in this get up. Hello, I'm a ghost hunter. <laughs> nice to meet you. That's nice. I like that. Okay, let's keep going. A lot to see around here. Look at how he's walking, too. No tension, just very nonchalant. You would never know he's in one of the most haunted places on earth. The peeling wallpaper is really a constant here, and I gotta say, it's a gorgeous aesthetic. High ceilings, which is a get. And that's how I know for a fact that he's a psychopath. I would love to see... <laughs> oh, hang on a sec. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I would love to see um, our funny little ventriloquist dummy we saw, but I think he might be one floor above. Hey, ghosts, if there's anybody here, uh, my name's Shane. I think they captioned that I'm wrong. It was Shane, not Ryan. Uh, anybody hiding in the dumbwaiter? He's just checking shit out. I'm sure you get bored around this uh, dusty old shithole and you want to hang out with a cool dude like me. Come say hi. I'm on the third floor now. He's a fucking dummy. Where'd my little buddy go? I think the coolest ghost that could possibly up here right now would be like a screaming woman like if i heard the scream before i saw her and she just ran down the hallway at me just going like what is he doing <laughs> <laughs> you know what the fuck are you doing <laughs> i'm looking for ghosts <laughs> he's oh. out there he's, he's out there crafting his own narrative <laughs> are you doing <laughs> i'm looking for ghosts <laughs> oh, oh here he is. Hey, stop. <laughs> this guy over in the corner get out of here get the fuck oh, out of here that? i 
I love him. I wonder if I'll get a disease if I pick him up. He's probably full of spiders, but that's okay. What is that? Why is that there? I'm gonna take this over. What the? F he just decapitated <laughs> a dummy, and now he's he's playing with the head. He just decapitated a dummy, <laughs> and then left. It. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're taking the investigation very seriously. <laughs> uh, I'm just having some fun. Unbelievable. His, uh, his head fell off. You took it off. I saw how it happened. Oh, we look like a couple of best friends here. I'm gonna leave you here. That's. And I'm gonna go I'm, see that's, some... Listen, if ghosts are real and there's haunted objects. That is definitely a haunted doll, for sure. Holy Not shoot. Okay, but I'll see you soon. I'll probably see you in my dreams tonight. You'll probably haunt me forever. That's what I'm saying. Here. Now's a great time to, to fucking kill me. You know? Erna, why did you just say remember the position? Don't say that. Don't say that, because that's making me think that at some point in the episode, the doll is going to be in a different position. And I don't like that idea very much. You can do that. <laughs> You could just do it. Sounds like an awful idea. I think this is going to be the first solo where I'm going to really try and focus on not being scared. And I'm just going to explore and see what happens. I'm going to turn my flashlight off and bask in the dark. Maybe that kind of like chill energy will just like... Okay, here we go. Make them leave me alone, you know. Or they'll tackle me through drywall. This is about, I think, as scary as you can make it for Object yourself. movement in the Facing hallway. Down a hallway. Please, no! Object movement is the creepiest what's one. Going on down there? That shouldn't, that shouldn't happen, you know? Who's there? <laughs> we just don't know. Thanks for the bits, Malto, by the way. But it's kind of fun, you know? Oh, boy. Nuns! Someone just said Uncle Nasty's cousin. You... I'm gonna pause. You realize what I haven't shown a lot of you? Give me a second. Hold on, I'll keep playing this, but then I want to show you guys something. I'm coming for ya! I will say, the nun zone sucks. Particularly, I think nun ghosts are very- I realize I haven't shown you guys, a, a lot of you guys, this, because it's been a while since I've brought it out. It's been a while, but this used to be a staple of Olive Streams. This is my haunted doll. This is my haunted doll, and he is for sure. Listen, I know I said I don't believe in ghosts, but if ghosts are real and there are haunted dolls, this is definitely a haunted doll because sometimes he moves, and that's not a lie. I would never lie to you guys. <laughs> this is... I, I think we named him Grayson. I think his name was Grayson, and he's absolutely... Look, his eyes are pink for some reason. His eyes are pink. He's just so old that, I don't know, the whites of his eyes have turned pink with age. He's, I just think he's high, is what I think. <laughs> and look, hold on. Hold on, he sings. Hold on. He, all, he moves too, watch. You have to wait for him to do like his- he- he like slowly gyrates as he moves, as he sings. Can you see his head is like slowly tilting? Anyways, that's him. That's him! <laughs> his head moves as he sings! At my high school, we had a doll named Lucy that my teacher found in her attic and the moisture made her eyes fall out. We also had a giant stuffed roach. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, man. Oh, God. Well, I think Lucy and Grayson would get along just swell. I can't believe I haven't pulled him out earlier than this with the amount of scary games we've been playing. Yeah, this is Grayson, though. This is great. He's definitely haunted. For sure, for sure. I believe it. I don't believe in ghosts, but I do believe in Grayson. He is extremely creepy. I got him from the thrift store for like five dollars. Um... Yep, that's him. Anyways, I'm gonna put him away now, and we're gonna keep on watching Ghost Files. <laughs> oh, and yeah.
yeah, no, he is definitely a red flag. Oh no, for sure, for sure. That's Grayson. Now you guys know, part of um, channel, early channel lore right there. Very scary. Just the fact that if you did Bit of an intermission God, right there. And you can't even get into heaven. <laughs> I mean, what, what hope do I have, you know? This really does look like sort of a serial killer's little nest. Ring the bell, let them know you're here. Oh yeah. Nuns? It's me, Jane. Get in there and start talking to that ghost. Roger. I'm entering the room with the horny ghost. Uh, this was the ghost that wanted <laughs> Tina. to make sweet, sweet love to our cameraman Mark. And can you blame her? If there's a horny ass nun in here, feel free to reach out and touch me. Come say hello. I'm gonna pause it really quickly. My cat apparently has been in my room this whole time. You guys want to see my cat? Another interruption? Hold on. This is Juvie. She's a tuxedo cat and she, I think she was sleeping. I think she was sleeping underneath my bed and I think she just came out. I know. <laughs> Are you sniffing the mic? I think she might want to leave, though. I think she might want to leave my room because I had the door closed. Well, yeah, her name is Jupy. She's about, I want to say like four or five years old. Oh, now she's on the desk. <laughs> Do you want to go? Okay, she wants to go. I'll be right back. Hold on. She wanted to leave my room. That's why I don't usually, I'm usually not able to show my cats that often on stream because they, they like, they don't like to stay in my room for too long. And I always have my door closed, but I think she fell asleep underneath my bed before I went live. <laughs> but yeah, that's Jupy. Glad I can finally show her off to you guys. My other cat's name is Olive and you'll probably never see her because she doesn't like to be in my room. She likes to stay in another room. Oh, Olive, thank you for the raid. Speaking of olives, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna be quiet now. C Welcome in. Up, all right? Come on, <laughs> sisters. Here we go. Hope you guys enjoyed those little intermissions. Gotta show so you guys Grayson and Juby. Such a lovely cat like wear as my two getting... turn into squeaky race cars sprinting around the house. Olives fall up willow bites feet and crab walks away, so that's fun. <laughs> How does your cat crab walk? Like, walk sideways? I would love to see that. <laughs> I would love to see a cat crab walk. Aw. Let me do this. Even when I'm Try scared, to video I'm it. I would love to see that. Nuggets. Hey, nuns. Roger that. I was just basking, but I, I, you know, I'll do it again. Oh, if you already did it, then no, no worries. No, no, no need to extra bask. I'm good basking. Double dip. I got like so just really cat hair basking, on my face. <laughs> nuns, I mean bask. Bask, nuns. Oh, I mean bask. <laughs> Fetch me. Possess me. Murder me. Okay. Where to? Where to? Oh man. A lovely spot. Really bummed we only saw one bat tonight. They're uh, little sweeties. The bats you know? again. They, they eat a lot of bugs, which is important. Fuck. Did you just fall? Ryan's gonna be mad. My I think I broke some of his ghost wish. Ate fish food, and we have a pic of him sleeping in the dog bed and the dog just staring at the camera like, do something about this. I'm scared. That's adorable. Dude, I love cats my cat so lives much. In my room because my other cat bullies her. Yeah, that's that's why Olive never comes into my room, because Jupy bullies Olive. So Jupy lives in like this side of the house, and Olive lives in the other side of the house. So that's why I, I don't think you'll ever see her unless I like post a picture of her. 
<laughs> They're territorial. No. Hi, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I heard you dropped something. Huh? Sounded Thank you for like the you bits, by the no, way. I don't know anything about that. Anyway, I think this motion detector was broken when I picked it up. Oh, really? Oh, did yeah, he break yeah, the, the, the rim? Uh, Thingy. Something. Really nice, honestly, but I'll tell you what. Uh, oh, boy, it's so scary up there in the nun zone. Yeah, I know. Oh, my fucking God, man. You're gonna, you're gonna cry like a baby up there. Um, you see, I want to say I feel like I, I want to be Shane, but I would probably be more like Ryan. I think I would be a little bit too scared to harass the ghost like that. Opinion on chocolate covered strawberries? Yes. 100% yes. I know we like to joke. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, put a hand on the shoulder, it makes you feel more sincere. I saw a nun. I was watching you the whole time. Then you saw the nun. You probably saw the nun. There was no nun. Very scary lady. Nun thing. Okay, well, why don't you get all geared up and then I'll go have a hot cocoa with you. Sounds great. I think I'm so overstimulated right now that I'm just like shutting down because I'm like weirdly zen. Yeah, I mean, I know I always do the thing where I'm like, oh, it's, it's a scary lady. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking God. Go, just go. <laughs> Please go. I got. We got to get out of here. Go. Just go. Oh my God. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Okay, go. Go. I want to walk around here like I'm Batman. <laughs> do whatever you want. Just vacate the area. Jesus Christ. I'm vengeance. <laughs> Taste it. I am not my fear. I'm stronger than my fear. This is the motto I say. Before I go into the nuns' quarters, it seems like a good time to share two strange things that we caught on the audio recorder left in this room when it was empty. Oh no. Now, okay, now, okay, hear me out, hear me out. Is, isn't, is that not just from when Shane was screaming? Is that not Shane's scream? Remember when he screamed in the hallway on purpose? We played it like twice. Is that not him? Because <laughs> if it's not him, then man, that definitely sounds like a scream. I feel like it's Shane. I feel like that was Shane. Well, you know, if I see a ghost, maybe I see a ghost. Uh-oh, the zenness is starting to wear off. And I suspect it will completely wear off by the time I go into these awful nun quarters. That's nice to see. Oh, where's he going? Where's he going? Okay, where is this walkie? Oh, he went straight up there. It's so fun. I feel like the nun's quarters- All right, I have the walkie. Okay, your journey begins now. Um, I know you're going into the horny nun's room, but why don't you go back to the other rooms because I find those more unsettling. Go in there, turn your light off. Actually, don't you, for the rest of the time in, in the nun's quarters, no lights. My vengeance. Okay, he's humping <laughs> towards the camera. My vengeance. Okay, all right. All right, we see you. No lights upstairs, no lights there. Fuck you! This, okay, well that was rude, but that is the command I have given. Stand in that corner in the dark for two minutes. <laughs> for two minutes. Starting now. Oh, that's Hello, pretty nun. spooky. My name is Ryan. I would tell you my last name, but that's none your business. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It is nice to see him on here. Also, just nice to see the whole building. We got some orbs going on over here. A lot of orb activity. <gasps> Ghost you orbs. Think it's just us, but that's those are those are people who died. I don't want to see you, Joanna. So I do want you to know that if you do show yourself, I'm gonna fight you. If you try hard enough, you can catch them and absorb their power. That's what I like to do. I'm gonna do a minute of silence. This place is objectively very creepy. It may be the creepiest place we've ever been. I think it's possibly fair to say. Almost weirdly relaxing. I mean, I hated it, but... <sighs> it's not my favorite thing to do. Oh, there he is. Congratulations on your two minutes. Oh, nasty. A nasty man. Hey, let's go to the Garrett room. Hey, Ryan. Yes? This is going to sound kind of crazy, but... 
no more flashlight for the rest of your walk. Absolutely not. Hmm. I guess it's just kind of a challenge I'm throwing down, but if you don't want to meet the challenge, then... Uh... Okay. I prefer not to meet the challenge. It's a baby. I tell you what, <laughs> I'll do that for the last 10 minutes. How about that? I'll take it. Woohoo! That's a terrible idea. What's he doing now? <laughs> a lot of dancing. <laughs> I find the dancing um, a little tacky. Okay, now he's stomping. Who was that? <laughs> I mean, it's just sort of... Is there anything in here? Anything in here with me? Huh? Rip, beep, 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 beep. You want to in here and go spend some time in the pigeon room? You're asking me to do a lot of things here, pal. Yeah, I guess I am. <sighs> uh, and when you get there, pick up the pigeon like a little baby and uh, cradle it. Definitely not going to do that, but I will go stand by the horrible pigeon. <laughs> oh, he's gone uh, insane. Nice. <laughs> I don't like it in here. I like how consistent it is. Every single room looks like shit. Every toilet full of shit. The vibes were not great in there, leaving that room. Did you pick up the pigeon and cradle it like a little baby? Uh, no, that doesn't seem very healthy or sanitary. That was a test. Then you passed. Okay, go visit the ventriloquist dummy. Where's that? Ugh. I think he found it. I don't like this. Okay, did the head move? Is that what- or Erna, is that what you meant when you said pay attention to the position? Is it different? Let's rewind a bit. Oh, he's going to Shane's solo investigation. He's probably going to bring it up. Okay. Head on the body. But somehow, despite nobody touching or fixing the dummy, when I pick up the dummy in my solo investigation, the head is inexplicably fully connected. Stop. No. 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 <laughs> It's not even that the position changes, it's fixed. Well, what if when he put it back on the body, it like connected back? Like maybe it's like you're supposed to be able to take the head off and snap it back on. So maybe when he put it back on the body, it, you know, reconnected. Right? Yes. Maybe it's madness. Is this your king? What is the fuck is he doing? Is this your king? <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a scene from Hamlet. Hello? Yeah, what are you doing to that dummy, buddy? Is there anybody here with me right now? I think he's just amusing himself to forget about ghosts. This is what he does he's now. He's trying to distract is himself from the fear. here with me right now? What was that? Okay, 10 minutes left. Turn off all lights. Ah, that's bullshit. Uh, Ryan, well, how about you bring it all home by going to the Taco Bell toilet? <laughs> oh. Well, ghosts, it's time for me to take a shit. Where the fuck is this bathroom? Find that toilet, Daddy. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> actually pretty scary in here with no flashlight no answer on that one maybe he's doing it is there anything in here with me i regret to ask because it's very fucking quiet and i'm quite nervous actually what about the thing that said hi to andrew in here why are you haunting a bathroom just an odd choice, so I'm saying. Don't take it personally. No, fair question. I love this place. You can haunt any room. You I'm pick the buy it. toilet. Yay! <laughs> I'm gonna buy it. Woohoo! Hey, Ryan, uh, just, just for, for my pleasure, can you give us a really decent Pennywise wiggle run toward the camera? Yeah, I could do that. Thank you. I really want to see this. Okay, now that there's always go to the end of that one, you can do that one. I'm so excited. Hold the walkie down so we can hear your, your Pennywise noise, too. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. The people think that I'm in the 
shadows. I don't know what's going on now. But I am the shadows. Who's the king of the castle right now? The shadows belong to me! Look at that. Have you ever seen more confidence? Look at this man. <laughs> the shadows belong to me! I don't know what he's saying right now. It's probably nonsense. <laughs> Meet me here! <laughs> Stomp it! Right here! You think <laughs> darkness is your ally? Give us a stomp. You're wrong. Oh, okay. No. Okay, Ryan. That's time. He's losing his mind. You did it! I think I just emotionally shut down that entire time. Yeah, it was fun though, right? But now that it's over, I think it's all starting to kind of. He like needs some sanity pills. Through. Yeah. All yeah. The things Absolutely. That you did the things that you saw. No, more just like all the fear I was feeling. So now I just want to go. Okay. Well, I think these nerds. About to hit the road. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, yeah, they called us nerds. They called us nerds, remember? Nasty. Once a hospital built for a charitable cause, St. Ignatius now serves as a hell hotel for ghosts. Did we actually capture voices in the nuns' Did nun they? Quarters? Did they? Did we have a beer with Rose? Fantastic question. Did we get roasted by a childish ghost in the bathroom? I, I think Our so. Our job as investigators is to collect and present questions. Do you guys want to watch the debrief? Interpretation, however, solely belongs with you. But for our part, St. Ignatius Hospital can now be locked away. You guys want to watch the debrief for it? Should it be The Haunting of Hobo Hill? No, wait, no. Hold on. It'll probably be in this playlist. No, hold on, hold on. Let me scroll. That's the Alcatraz one I watched, The Nightmare. Okay, here's the debrief. Okay, we can watch this. And I will... S wait. Future soundtrack, soundtrack in case some big movie studio decides to make a movie about that creepy dog. Okay, I'm gonna use the restroom really quickly and grab some more water because it has been like an hour of watching that episode. I'm gonna keep on playing the debrief and I'll just, I'll be right back, okay? I'll be right back. Screaming in the nun's quarters? Drinking with a I'll ghost? I'll be right back. Shenanigans with a dummy? Grab a snack and help us unpack all that and more. It's time for Ghost Files Debrief. debrief. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ryan Bergara, and that thing over there is my colleague Shane Madej. Shane. <laughs> Each week, we look at our most compelling evidence, behind the scenes moments, and answer your burning questions. Keep doing the quotes over evidence, see what happens. And now, a word from our sponsor. This episode was brought to you, lovely people, by HelloFresh. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but ghost hunting, boy, does it work up an appetite, and your boy gets hungry. I mean, when you're spending all day tracking down the naturally supernatural and trying to find ghosts and catch them in your little net, it's hard to find some time to settle in for a bite to eat, you know? You get hungry, and these are some long days, guys. And afterwards, when you're starving, the last thing you want to do is try and figure out, how am I going to cook? What am I going to cook? Am I going to order it from somewhere? None of that. I just want my meal right there, ready to go. Which is why I've stayed relying on HelloFresh. It's the world's leading meal kit company, and they send a box of pre-prepared meals right to your door. HelloFresh offers a full slate of weekly meals to choose from. So, you know, there's pretty much anything for anybody. There's different categories like calorie smart, vegetarian, family friendly, world's best ghost hunter. So there's truly something for everyone, except the ghost hunter thing only applies to me. All the ingredients you need to create a full and delicious meal are inside along with step-by-step -step recipe cards. So if you can't cook, like me, you're set. You just follow the instructions. And these ingredients from suppliers are hand selected by HelloFresh for guaranteed freshness. HelloFresh measures out all the Why ingredients- Why did I come back to a HelloFresh ad? And food I thought they were talking about ghosts. Also really easy, and you can do it online or Wait. through the HelloFresh app. With HelloFresh, you can. I mean, I'll be right like back. Anything. I'm not done. Well, we've had bangers. <laughs> we had a lot of fun. No, this is probably. Uh, it's definitely the grossest place we've been this season, and it's. Yeah. It might be the scariest too. Yeah. I don't know. We've got some bangers in the back half here, but. Oh. Well, it's up there in beautiful Washington State. That's uh, true. Near, Colfax, Washington. Near lovely yeah. Spokane. Uh, we got to see some some beautiful parts of the country. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a, a nice, uh, nice lo honestly, one of my favorite uh, locations we visited. Yeah, it's definitely one of my favorite episodes. It wasn't my favorite time when I was there. Uh, you know, just garbage bags everywhere, uh, horrifying nun quarters. 
I like that be. more than the places we go to, like Waverly, where they're like, "Oh, we sweep now." It's like, "What are you doing? Get I'm back. to the bit. Don't yeah. sweep." But don't you see how many flies we saw in this place? There was a lot. Shuffle! Hold on! I don't think I'll... Hey, welcome! Hold on, I just sat back down. What perfect timing. Shuffle, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Hello? Perfect raid song for this stream. How was your, how was your stream? What were you guys up to? What were you guys up to? Thank you so much for the raid, Shubble. Hope you're doing well. Um, welcome in everyone. My name's Olive. We are watching Ghost Files today. That is what we are up to. We're just watching ghostly stuff. And then perhaps might do Phasmo later or might just watch stuff today. We will see, we will see. <laughs> oh, which SMP? <gasps> oh, very cool. Very we saw traumatizing things. Well, get ready for more because we're watching Ghost Files with Shane and Ryan. Well, yeah, welcome in. Welcome in. Oh, Hope everyone's know. doing well. I would. Hi, hi, hi. Would be going so well. We can have Ghoulcon there. <laughs> oh, by the way, wait. Do we want to watch the debrief or do we want to just go to the next episode does anyone have a preference because i've never seen the debrief before does anyone have a preference whether or not we go to the next one next episode <laughs> oh yeah and yeah i added the rat jam I, I added the rat jam um channel point redemption next episode let's see okay we just watched the saint ignatius I don't know if I'm saying that right. We just saw that one. So the next one is The Devil Baby of Hull House Museum. So welcome in, Raiders. You came in at the perfect time. Because we're just starting the next episode. Here we go. Anybody here that wants to uh, come talk to us? I think I'm going to kick a ghost's ass tonight. I hate this. Okay. Hopefully this volume's okay. Like Hopefully this is a good volume. Let me know if it's not. Well, I think I heard a little whisper after. I think oh, it should be all right. I can do this. Holy shit. Oh, also, I just want to show the new people in here who I have with me on my desk today. It's my own haunted doll. His little bib thing is coming off. His name is Grayson, and he sings, and he's quite creepy. <laughs> he's he's going to be on the desk with us for the entirety of this stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's definitely haunted. He definitely is. Sometimes he's a bit of a music box, a music box at all. And sometimes his little music thing will go off when no one has touched him. Hold on. He's got little eyes. <laughs> He's awful, I hate him. Hi, my name is Michael Ramirez, and I have evidence for staying at a whole house museum. My name is Celine, and I have evidence for the whole house museum. I'm across my back. I was standing up on my hot knees, and I'm going to throw up on your bus. I can't leave. I'm trying to find this unexplained shape. Can you guys investigate? I really liked the last episode. It was quite silly. It was quite silly. <laughs> if anyone doesn't know what this is, by the way, it is Ghost Files. I would say it's more silly than spooky. <laughs> Welcome to Ghost Files, where we take your evidence and our tools into the field to expose the supernatural. My partner, a skeptic. Myself, Apollo. a believer. Hi, Both of us, truth seekers. How spooked are you all getting tonight? We're, I think we're getting more silly than spooky. We're watching Ghost Files right now, Akalo. <gasps> Thank you for the 18 months, my friend. I hope you're doing good. So this week, our team travels to Chicago, hope you're Illinois, doing well. to investigate the Whole House Museum. Whole House Museum, Chicago, Illinois. Okay. Whole House. Whole House. Is our the volume okay for everyone, by the way? Chicago. A very haunted city, many would say. This looks actually uh, kind of pleasant, dare I say. Yeah, we, we do really good buildings in this town. <laughs> Except for all the ones that burn down. <laughs> You're not personally building them yourself. Well, in a way. All right, whole house, let's do this. Oh, nope. 
<laughs> All right, whole house. Now let's <laughs> now let's do it. Now that we figured out doors, shut up. The Hull House Mansion was originally built in 1856 as a private home by Charles J. Hull, only to leave it behind after four years due to several tragedies within the premises, including the traumatic loss of both his sons as well as his wife. Many believe that Mrs. Hull's spirit remains at this home. Then, in 1889, it was taken over by renowned activists Jane Addams and Ellen Gates Starr, converting it into the nation's first and most influential settlement house. Besides being a safe haven for the community, it is also infamously known as the home of Chicago's own legend. The Devil, the Devil Baby, Baby. inspired by the movie Islamic Rosemary Head. Baby. Also, make sure to hydrate and eat Do you mean Tina? As long as you aren't <laughs> drinking salt water or alcohol, it's a net positive. Very fair point, Malto. <laughs> Well, as long as it's not salt water, alcohol, or like Baja, Bla Bla Baja Blast, you'll probably be good. Yeah, Tina from the last episode. I'm burp that <laughs> it looks like Jack I Jack. Really, it does. I'm it not does. I'm a big fan of it because I don't like what? small things moving really fast. Baby Imagine zombies. Just a baby in diapers just baby zombies. At you with red eyes. It's little fleshy feet but just, on the floor. Just and that, that, that diaper just foam into the brim when demon shit. <laughs> I always bring up such terrible mental images right before a whole the start. Block. What's left today is the preservation of the original Hull House mansion that has sat on Halstead Street for nearly two centuries and is now part of the University of Illinois at Chicago's campus. It stands two and a half stories high, sitting ominously in the middle of campus. It's a part of the campus? And it's on haunted? And work our way upward. We've also placed cameras and audio recorders in two of the more active parts of the building in hopes that we catch an activity when we're elsewhere. One in the original Jane Addams room, AKA the haunted bedroom, and a second in the attic where the infamous devil baby is believed to reside. What is the devil baby? And finally, to end the investigation, Shane and I will each be forced to explore the entire house one at a time because I enjoy pain. <laughs> it's a modest building for a haunt. What platform is this show on? Pain. It's on YouTube. It's a uh, Ghost yes. Files. Going to Chicago, your home place. Do you have any, uh, you, you excited for that? Well, you've surely you've been to Chicago before. You're a traveled culture Of course, man. I've never been to you've Chicago. You've never been! You've, kn you've known this about me. Yeah, I know. I think you just wanted to hear me admit it. Yeah, I think it's a town you'll really enjoy. Oh, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing that stupid bean that everyone talks about, <laughs> oh, yeah. the one that you were born under. Yes. That's known on Wikipedia. Cloud Gate Nation. The Chicago bean. We'll get you some Portillo's. We'll get you some Melnati's. We'll get you some of that. I've never been to Chicago. Really and then we'll go to a haunted mansion. That's right. Well, without further ado, the investigation begins. Well, I immediately regret this. <laughs> Visitors have reported many Sounds like the perfect date. <laughs> From hearing children laughing Let's go and hunt ghosts random voices for a fantastic per first One date. One former employee has experienced multiple strange occurrences in this part of the house. As a former employee, I've always been in the museum either with another employee or with people on tours. One time did chairs move from under desks and fall over with a tour group, constantly hearing doors slam shut always hearing voices in numerous areas. They've always been positive voices or things that don't sound evil, which is good. I would bank on positive them voices. Positive. It seemed like a okay. happy place where people were able to go for happy ghosts and rehabilitation. There were those, those tragedies, though. Yeah, whatever. The guy's kids and wife died, though. Oh, right, them. Yeah, very sad. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the general first floor area. This is where you see. Michael I feel like you see. I, ghost hunters they always go to very scary haunted locations to look for ghosts. But what if you went to more like happy and chill places for those happy and chill ghosts? You know, like if you were a ghost and you had to haunt one area for like the rest of time. Wouldn't you pick, like, a more pleasant area to spend your afterlife in? Why would you pick a dark and depressing hospital? You know, wh what about a bakery? You can haunt a bakery. That would be a nice place to haunt. You know, you get the fresh s smell of baked goods every day. A very happy place. Maybe some music going off in the background if it's like a Starbucks. You know, 
I'm just saying. I would haunt a bakery if I was a ghost. I, I see some chairs. A cat cafe. Yeah. If I was a ghost, I think I would haunt a cat cafe. I don't know about you. <laughs> or a theme park. How many ghosts do you think are in a Disney theme park? How many people have died in a Disney theme park? I would haunt the Epcot ball. You know the ride in the uh, Epcot the ball? The in the theater here is living the light, probably. You would find me haunting, like, one of the animatronics inside the Epcot ball. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, a ghost in a movie theater. Because then you could watch all the movies. You see, I'm just saying, there are better places, more, like, strategic places that I feel like a ghost would haunt. That's not, like, an old and abandoned hospital. That's... That's my logic. Residents of Whole House, may you please That's my move logic. one of these chairs? Five Nights What's at Freddy's core, thing? absolutely. Pretty heavy. <laughs> I was gonna say, if these are old chairs, they gotta be made out of like oak or cherry wood. Mrs. Hall, could you move one of the chairs? Mrs. Hall. Go into this other room here. This used to be actually a schoolhouse back in the day. Any kids in here wanna talk to us? I hear there's children laughing in this building. Wait. Shh. Did you actually hear? Shh. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. You did it. Yeah. You did it, it, Ryan. I got him. We're gonna do something I call the Estes Spirit Box. They, they finally you know found I a ghost. They finally found a ghost. Wait. Did it. it looks yeah. like our little did, ghost right? emote. Yeah, it looks yeah. like the ghost emote that we have. I called the Estes Spirit <laughs> Box. Oh, you know what? I actually enjoy this. Do I get to be the human radio? <laughs> I do. I'm in the human radio. Yeah. I, I don't like True ghost caught on camera, not clickbait. For real, the for real. Box rapidly scans radio signals to create white noise through which spirits can communicate. Now, I think I think the spirit listen. box is my favorite thing to mess with just because of like the really silly coincidences that you can get while messing with it. Like I don't believe in ghosts, but I feel like you can get some really funny interactions with the spirit box. The I spirit like box it. I like it. Phones, and I'm just going to say whatever I hear. I'm not going to hear any questions that Shane is asking. <laughs> and if my response somehow makes sense, perhaps we're making contact with somebody inside. This is fun. I do enjoy this. It's more fun than the box, because I don't have to hear it. I am now reaching out to the spirits of the Hull House. Uh, that includes ghosts, ghouls, goblins. Why you? Son? Son? Uh, sons, daughters. If the devil baby's here, please say <laughs> Ooga <my> booga. <laughs> have to work? No, you don't have to work. You're here to play. You're here with the boys tonight. We're gonna have a good- Whoa! Well, what? <laughs> yeah, what boys. Is... Who are you guys? It sounded like, who are you guys? That was crazy. Okay, devil baby. We're Ryan and Shane. We're uh, the greatest ghost hunters the boys. currently alive. We want nothing more- I believe that. Than to make contact with you. We come here with good intentions. We might be a little nasty <laughs> here and there, a little rude. <laughs> it's pretty funny to see him sitting there in a little corner. Call <laughs> someone. Okay. What would you like to say? Maybe you're. Maybe I'm what, you son of a bitch? <laughs> Sorry, that was dead. A little... Oh. We come. Okay. We come here with good intentions. Immediately starts cursing at the ghost. All right. This is a very confusing conversation. Nutcrack. <laughs> but now I feel like you're threatening me. Good. Okay. <laughs> you're gonna crack my. Don't nut. go anywhere. Oh, now I feel very threatened because uh, you seem like you want to beat the shit out of Hi. me. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 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 Bring it. Okay. Do you, are you asking me to kick your ass? <laughs> I'm good. I don't know if that means you, you're good. You don't want me to can't. kick. Can't. You can't kick. Bring it. <laughs> you're sending mixed messages, man. Fight. <gasps> I think I'm going to kick a ghost's ass tonight. Yeah. Is what I'm Bad. Mean. No. It's gonna be bad when I'm done with you, sir. Misery. Exactly, that's what you're gonna be feeling when you meet 
cute. My sweet fist. Oh, it's cute, huh? How do you like this? <laughs> I might have just hit you for all I know. Did that hurt? Huh? Huh? Is there anyone here? Am I hitting a ghost? Mist? Mist? Back. What? <laughs> what do you think about that? How'd that feel? Who is this? <laughs> I'm Shane, I just beat the scared. shit. Scared. Yes, you are scared. Okay, Ryan. Go. Yeah, you go. Hit me. <gasps> oh, oh! I think I just Dang, beat the shit I, out I of I can't Mr. believe Hall. we just watched the ghost fight live on camera. <laughs> Do you think he won? <laughs> I, was I got in a fight with him. As far as I know, I'm pretty sure that's what, what just happened. It sounded like that's what happened. I don't feel like anything. I guess I did say hit me. Uh, he was asking me to hit I love him. the latest Phasmophobia update where we actually get to fight the ghost. And uh, I, I think I, I think I fought him. Well, if there is a ghost here who is looking for a fight, you found him. <laughs> one of the most active areas <laughs> is the staircase. <laughs> people seeing the nearby chandelier I want to fight a ghost however the staircase is most famous for the numerous photos of apparitions captured on it one of the more recent ones by Gene Anderson we were on the front porch looking through the window this look like and taking like, photographs why does this look like it like an infomercial ad this seems like as I was flipping through all the pictures I took I noticed on one there was something on the stairs Something on the stairs. Like a baby. A baby. Okay. Well, no, I I see it, but it, the head is really. If this is the head of the child, it's a really big head. I'm just saying. Okay. So those could be like the eyes. This could be the nose, and this is. Oh, you know what it looks like. You know what this baby looks like. It kind of looks like this, baby. You know, you got like the hair on top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the eyes. And then that's it. Okay. That looks like a baby if you ask me. That looks like a big ass baby. That's a <laughs> That's what I was baby. saying. <laughs> Just to do my part here, it did look like it was taken through a window. A lot of reflections on that shot. That's you true. All of the ghost photos that they've shown on this show is always through some sort of glass so it's a reflection but a reflection of what it's possible is the real question looks like a baby i guess devil baby would sort of do a head trick and, and just be I, like well they'll be really freaked out if they just see a little baby head flying around. and especially if it's fucking huge if i see a baby head flying down the stairs at me i'm doing a little psycho like <laughs> <laughs> let's see if we could uh capture a baby ourselves they're going baby hunting. I can see how smudges would create a baby like yeah, this. Yeah, I feel like right, it's so smudges on the glass. Via photo, we are going to use some tools here to maybe pick up the uh, little uh, ghost otherwise. We have a mag light. A regular mag light, when turned to the space between on and off, can be turned into a touch lamp, which you can ask spirits to manipulate. However, the light will also randomly turn on and off in this setting. So, Responses need to be timely and repetitive for a compelling interaction. I'm gonna reintroduce ourselves. My name is Ryan. I'm Shane. If you understand that, can you please turn that light on? Is there a lady in white on this staircase right now? If you can, or if there is, can you please touch that light on that staircase? Any ladies, any ladies on the staircase, please tap that little light. Or, or I think that knows what we were about to say. A little demon baby. A little baby. devil baby. A little demon little baby. baby. If that was our friend, the little devil baby, why don't you go ahead and turn that light off? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> That's right in his spot, too. I'm simply thrilled right now uh, until I actually see you in the flesh, in which case I'm going to jump head first through that window. <laughs> We're going to give you one more minute to possibly What's show yourself. What's worse than a ghost? If anything a in baby this house ghost. That wants to communicate or wants to say anything, please show yourself on this staircase. If you'd like us to leave, turn the light on. Yeah. Any more conclusive statements from the flashlight over there? You you're really wilding out. If you'd like us to leave, turn it on. Okay. If you're upset that I <laughs> clocked Mr. Hull in the jaw, 
turn that light off. Hmm, devil, maybe that's Devil Baby talking. Maybe he's saying, no, I don't like Mr. Hull. Is Mr. Hull there? Can I talk to Mr. Hull? Mr. Hull, please turn the light on. I think I killed a ghost. <laughs> I don't think you killed a ghost. I, th I think I killed him. Here on the second floor. <laughs> I think he won that ghost fight. There will be one less ghost on this premise on from now on. And yet, despite the flames, absolutely no gone. Or marks from fire damage found anywhere. If there's anything up here right now that wants to communicate with us, please. I think speak he killed now. the ghost. I think that's Why are real you still and here? true. Could somebody walk towards my voice? If you could hear me, walk towards me. We come with good vibes, always. <laughs> Except for <laughs> when I was punching you in the face, but you did provoke that, and I was acting in self-defense. While we're looking up at this attic here, let's fire up the ovulus. The ovulus takes environmental I like this the spirits one. are said to manipulate, such as temperature or electromagnetic fields, and converts them into corresponding words. I don't know how it works, sounds. but I like this one. <laughs> Did it say birds? Birds, terms, and wind. It smells like a riddle of some sort. Birds, sorts. terms, like and wind. Spear. Breaker? <gasps> Give us something the breaker. Direct, something to work with. What like do you want to talk about? Like in phasmophobia. Can you say devil baby? Can you tell us what year it is? Pulled. Telepathy. Pulled a rabbit out of a hat. I think we're talking to a magician. I was talking to <laughs> pulled pork. Okay, we're gonna give you 60 seconds of silence to possibly uh, do whatever you want. Maybe we'll hear a conversation. Okay, well, nothing. I guess that wraps it up for this room. Just one more room down, one step closer to me being in this awful house alone. The second floor bedroom is where Mrs. Hull reportedly died and is dubbed by Jane Addams herself as the haunted bedroom, despite herself being a skeptic of the paranormal. According to Adams, previous tenants used to put buckets of water in front of the bedroom door because they believed that spirits cannot cross water. Jane and her guests reported hearing conversations in this room in very unchill times, like when they were home alone. Very unchill and times. Multiple witnesses have seen a woman hovering over the bed. Okay. So Jane Adams, the skeptic, heard voices in her own home that she couldn't explain. What do you think about that, skeptic boy? It's tough on, in these situations. You wish you could be there and, and sort of judge it for yourself. People are incredibly susceptible to uh, their emotions, the environs. It's possible she did hear a conversation, you know? And it's possible that she also heard something else that she thought was a conversation. Who knows? We're gonna use a couple tools in here. One of which I'm very excited about. We're gonna use our little honey tone amplification device for the spirit box. The honey tone. Called that because, ooh, it sounds so sweet. The spirit box rapidly scans radio signals to create white noise through which spirits can communicate. And the honey tone filters out the noise while amplifying only the voices. Hello. Pretty snazzy. Yeah. Can you see our names back to us? Can you tell us what floor we're on in the building? Two. That was creepy. Who are we talking Two. to right now? Can you tell us your name, please? Michael? I don't know. Can be clearer, please? What's your name? Bergara? I'm going to turn this off in about... 10 seconds, I'm gonna need to hear something. Tell me your name, or something compelling for me to keep this going. Whoa, what was that? Oh, we're gonna have to listen to that again. I think it sounded something like friend. Uh, we might have another way to talk to you. I'm gonna turn this off now. What? I've got my camera trained on this flashlight. Well, I think I heard a little whisper after that. Somebody here with us right now? Jane? Not Jane? Anyone? What's what's Mrs. your Hull? what's your favorite bit that they do? Like you know, they use the rim box, they use the spirit box, they use the 
Oh man, the dictionary thing. What's your favorite thing that you Oh the flashlight? The light, what else do they the do? Oh. oh you gotta be freaking kidding. I think flashlight <laughs> might be the creepiest. Okay. Is this Maybe. Mrs. Adams? Is this you the right spirit now? Spirit box easily. If it's not Mrs. Adams and it's Mrs. Hole, can you please turn off the light? Who's left? Lady in white. Turn off that light. Oh, oh, Lady in White. Lady in White. I like I like the Mrs. rim pod Hole, too. Can you turn on the light. This is good. Lady in White, if you are Jane Adams, can you turn on the light? Oh wow. Jane! That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Jane, this is you! I mean, it's an honor. It is an honor. You've done a lot of great things. You know, you were uh, considered one of the most dangerous women on earth. You know that, right? Oh, yeah, okay, you do know that. Do you want us to leave your bedroom now? If so, turn off the light. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to leave because I actually didn't like that. that you didn't like that at all. Again, it was an absolute pleasure to meet you. Uh... I did go to your junior high school in Schaumburg. Oh Ohio. yeah, I, I like I like so. the bit where one of them wears the headphones and the person with the headphones are li is listening to the spirit box and they say whatever they think they hear while someone else is in the distance asking the questions. That those ones get pretty funny. I like those. I do feel like <laughs> yeah, the Estes. No, it's scary. called the the Estes spirit box method. Yeah, I like that. I like it when they do that. Is of course, <laughs> the attic. Allegedly, this is where the infamous devil baby has made itself. Do they ever home. use a, a, a Ouija board? It has it that a religious woman had an image of the Virgin Mary in her home. Oh, I feel like Shane would mess with it too much. It down, saying he would rather have the devil in the house. When they had their first child, his wish came true. The baby allegedly had they probably ears, have once. horns and a tail just like the devil. Yeah, that's probably According why they call legend, it Devil Baby. The terrified parents decided to leave the baby right on the whole house doorsteps, where the residents attempted to baptize the baby, but what? it ended up being locked in the attic. I'd probably bring like a rattle or something to get this baby out, or I'll make baby they noises. They put the baby like, in the attic? Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> You'll make baby noises. Goo goo gaga, come out. Yeah, goo goo gaga. Goo goo boo 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 goo. Goo goo boo boo. Boo boo yeah. boo gara is here. Boo boo goo. So I don't know what a baby's like, Gerber's or some shit like that. They love a Gerber, they love a ho ho, they oh love a Oh my god, cranky. what trigger object should we use they to should, trigger They the should baby? bring, you know those like, those baby pouches of like the pureed fruit inside this pouch? Those are good, okay? I've had one before. They're good. They should bring some of those. Me. A good Rattles. snack. Uh, pacifiers. They don't understand object Drunk permanence, coffee. so you could sort of... Uh, the little uh, pouches yeah, yeah, of the yeah, pureed yeah. fruit. Yeah, say peek -a, Pe a peek a we, could peek -a we could play peek a -boo. Let's play a clean game. Let's catch this baby. Now, this is more like it. Now, that's what I call ghost hunting. Now, this definitely feels Strawberry a little bit more like something yeah. we've uh, yeah. seen in the past. We could fire up the REM pod. The fire scene, up right? the REM pod. You know, we're in the attic. The, the REM pod. Its own circular electromagnetic I think this is pretty cool. I want one. When anything penetrates Thank you, that Dandelion. Field, the more colors on the alarm, the more significant the intrusion. The REM pod also detects temperature fluctuations. You see, that's pretty snazzy. Devil that's baby, pretty interesting. Here? I mean, I think it's obvious. This, I mean, this is a great location for a devil baby. Devil baby! <laughs> devil Do you baby! See the device in the middle of the attic there. It's got a little red light on it. Red light, you know that. Like hell. And your biological father's skin. I assume this is a direct descendant of Satan. First name devil, last name baby. <laughs> yeah. Approach the REM pod. Some no... Temperature some spike. Yeah, hey, yo, baby. That means the temperature's going up a little bit. Well, oh, are we going into hell? Get real close to it. If you could get even closer to that, we'll know you're here. Devil baby. You're really disappointing us right now. You're disappointing the audience. This is your chance to clear your name. Can you move something up here to let us know you're here? If you don't- Should we turn our lights off? Let's try that. Oh, that's extremely- I don't like that at all. That's spooky, huh? Devil baby. Approach the REM pod, devil baby. Touch- <laughs> that's a spike in temperatures going up. That's kind of, that's kind of creepy. Holy shit! That's, oh, did you do the little ovulus? 
This is a, we're gonna use the obelisk, Devil Baby. If you could just have make this. Yeah, thing okay. Obelisk is the one cool. that I like. Oh, it, you are. You see, like, okay, again, I think everything is just coincidence. I don't believe in ghosts, but like, that's pretty. That's pretty funny. It, the first word it says is heaven. That's a big coincidence right there. Cheeky. <laughs> mm. If you want to go to heaven, get close to that uh, red light. We'll lie to God and tell him that you're just a normal baby and he'll let you in. Or better yet, we won't lie to God. I'll Shane, lie to God. No, no, Shane will distract God. <laughs> and while God's distracted, I'll sneak you in the back door of heaven. Yeah, that's right. I'll, I'll pull up. Oh. You like that, huh? Yeah. Devil baby just won't go to heaven. That's right. I could just, I could, Shane will distract him. We'll do the old, uh, Devil the baby old, heist. Uh, I don't know what the name of that plan is. Shove. Dress? Where? Where a... Where? Dan. Dan. <laughs> nighttime Dan? Oh, a real nighttime Dan we got yeah, here. We, are we not talking to Devil Baby? Are we just talking? Are we to talking to go? nighttime Dan? Nighttime Dan, can you get... <laughs> Disc? Disc? You're a DJ? Money. Nighttime Dan spins discs for money. <laughs> nighttime Dan... <laughs> Local DJ from Chicago. If you like money and leather, touch that uh, <laughs> little red light. Damn it. I mean, he's probably got his headphones on. Two. I'll take it. I'll take it too. I'll take that nighttime, Dan. Hell yeah, nighttime, Dan. I like money too. <laughs> nighttime, Dan. Not bad. Now that I know nighttime Dan's here, I'm... 1% less scared about the solo investigation that's about to happen. All right, yeah. there is there and is no devil baby. The final phase it's only nighttime, Dan. I like these bits where they make a character out of the ghost. They're coming up with their own ghost the OCs. Hunt, our individual investigation of the entire building. Here's how our solo investigations will work. Shane and I will each have 20 minutes of solid alone time in the location. Shane will go first, and at the end of his time, we'll hide a walkie-talkie in a room inside Night the building. Time, DJ. Once Shane returns, he'll reveal to me the walkie-talkie location. Then it's my turn. I'll enter the building, and only after radioing back to Shane with the hidden walkie-talkie will the clock start on my 20 minutes of solo investigation. Let the games begin. Wait, what's the thing? You were saying that there's double audio for one of the words? Hold on, I, I missed it. I'll listen this time. Shane and I will each have 20 minutes of solid alone time in the location. Shane will go first, and at the end of his time, we'll hide a walkie-talkie in a room inside the building. Once Shane returns, he'll reveal- Yeah, no, I hear it. When, I, when, when the audio says once, it, it says once twice. Solid alone time in the location. Shane will I go hear first, it. and at the end of his time, we'll hide a walkie-talkie in a room inside the building. Once Shane returns, he'll reveal to me the walkie-talkie location. Then, it's my turn. I'll enter the building, and only after radioing back to Shane with the hidden walkie-talkie will the clock start That's so red. How did you notice that? Solo investigation. Let the games begin. That's a lot of buildings. It's not that much of a building, but we are going to be there alone, which I, I never like. And yet I do it every single time. Because you're a professional. No, I think it's because I hate myself. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's come to the part of the night that I dread most. It's time to party. No, it's not. It's party time, baby. <laughs> Sorry, it's a really bright flashlight. Flash right in my face. Sorry about that. All right, I guess I'll just get in there and do my thing. Yeah, get in there and do your thing. Testing walkie? We're doing 20 minutes, right? 20 minutes. Sounds good. See you on the other side, brother. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Hello. Shane is always so unhinged whenever he goes off A by dream himself. Come true for this little Illinois boy. He's been very happy to be back in Chicago. Hopefully that lasts too because he'll finally shut up about it if you know what I mean. <laughs> this guy talks about Chicago nonstop. Uh, I'm gonna open up the conversation to the Hulls. Apparently Shane fist fought Mr. Hull. I didn't see that because I had my eyes closed. No, I thought that oh, was man, pretty can real. You we just go in there and it's just like the house is just torn apart. <laughs> His shirt's ripped off. 
just bleeding from the nose, just got his ass kicked by a ghost. <laughs> Any other spirits, energies, who spent time in this place and are perhaps still here, wondering, what exactly am I? Am I an orb? Am I a ghost? Am I living? Am I dead? Well, I hate to inform you, <laughs> your ass is grass. Yes, you are dead, but uh, you know, with any luck, I can shake some sense into you and uh, knock your ass on out to uh, heaven or hell. Not looking Here he to is the threatening the place. ghosts again. A little baby man thing up Goodbye, there. Goodbye, Rosie. Run around and nip at my ankles. Okay, here we go. I'm going to be silent for a little bit. I'm going to hold up my microphone and you can uh, talk into it. Now he's probably doing something really stupid right now. Devil baby. My little devil baby here. They should bring back DJ Not Dan. Not taking the investigation seriously. Come on out, devil baby. Devil baby. <laughs> Disrespecting the craft. Devil baby. <laughs> My sweet boy, come on down. <laughs> come on down to pop pop devil baby. You know, typical Shane things. Would you like to swing from that chandelier, devil baby? I won't tell. Devil baby, if you come out right now and swing from the chandelier and do a little flip into my arms, I'll give you a kiss. And I'll never tell them it happened. I'll delete this footage. Now I'm going to be in there for 20 minutes. And I already tried to bribe Mark. What is happening? Fantastic sure. question. I don't understand why we need to be in there We're for watching ghost hunters at building. work. It should be shorter. It should be shorter the smaller it is. This should be a five minute investigation. Yeah, you can see why when people stand in this room with the big ass Stranger Things clock, <laughs> the sound is very dampened. You've got these uh, big walls covered in floral haunted mansion wallpaper. Of course people feel uncomfortable in this room. Jane, I'm gonna hang out with your death mask here. If you don't mind, I'm gonna fire up the envelope. Do they have a death a mask of her in here? To me. And this goes for Jane, goes for Devil Did I Baby, miss that? Lady in White. Any of the rich tapestry of characters that have moved through the halls of this Hull house. Let's see. Bridal. Planet. Okay, you've got a lot to say tonight. Anybody here? Uh, now, I'm a ghost hunter, and that's a oh, thing that we an do here in this era because uh, we've run out of things to do. This is a job for some people, uh, apparently for me. Go ahead and say something. Speak to me directly through the obelisk. Here we go. What a chatty lady. Okay, <laughs> well, I'm going to go. Uh, I do appreciate the hospitality, as I'm sure many people did here. I'm going to go hang out in the attic with your friend, the devil baby. Peace. Maybe. 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 Oh, to me saying peace? Or maybe I'll run into the devil baby? Jane. Magic. Magic keeps coming up. Is the devil baby a magician? Uh, Shane, you, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Have you reached out to Jane Adams yet? Yeah, that's all I've been doing, you <laughs> dipshit. Well, I figured you would be just kind of screwing around in there. Have you reached out to uh, Mr. Hole? Uh, yeah, I'm reaching out to all of them, buddy. <laughs> what are you asking them? You know. Just ask Jane if you think the house is haunted. It's a serious question. Look, not all of these have to be zingers. I just want you to ask Jane investigating it. Listen, asshole, I've been doing a lot of like legitimate investigation. I've been talking to these people this entire time. I ain't heard shit, okay? Uh, so yeah, I'll ask her that as well, but thank you for the tip. Hey, Jane! <laughs> yeah, let's get another take of that. Except uh, this time, do it less like a douchebag and just like, you know, you're, you're talking to a person. Try that. Hey, Jane, <laughs> is this place haunted? You're wasting time. Just ask the question normally. And then uh, uh, lay down like, on the floor <laughs> in her bedroom. Okay, laying on the floor in the bedroom. I will have to uh, deposit the walkie talkie before I leave. So just give me a heads up. Hey, Jane, is leave. this place haunted? Oh, that's pretty nice. It's actually hard to lay down with this helmet. It's oh, expression. boy. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Oh, brother. Oh. Oh. 
Shane, actually, change of plans. I want you to stare into the eyes of the uh, Jane Adams death mask and uh, say I love you. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Now just uh, discard this walkie and bring that tall ass back in here. Okay, gonna drop the walkie up uh, in the attic. It's a really short attic. He has to. Uh. Oh fuck! We're outside, by the way. I don't know if you hit the walkie or not. There we go. <laughs> Maximum troop. I'm just reading whatever bullshit the obelisk is hollering. Okay. Kill! Kill us! Okay. Oh! Devil. I see it said devil and he, he just hid it in the attic with the devil baby. And you know what? It could say any word and it said devil. It could say any word in the English language. And it said dev interesting. Did you hear the way she just said devil? De devil baby? Why did I not put that together? Now go and send Ryan up there. Is Devil Baby here? How was it? It was really good. The most recent word on there. Devil? Oh, oh that's amazing. <laughs> you also said it in a very... Yeah, like, I could have said chicken tinder. I could have said anything. Have a scary voice? No. Because she said, she said like, L, lend, devil. <laughs> no, she did not say that. She kind of did. No, she did. Devil. <laughs> Shit. Wait. I can't believe that. Devil. No, she did not say that. Listen. She kind of did. No, she did. <laughs> the way she says, devil. <laughs> I can't believe that. I hope it says baby when you get in there. Dude, if it says baby, I'm just going to walk right out. I'm going to make a U-turn. I'm just going to go up. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. Obviously, the walkie's in the attic. Yeah, I figured. Now it's your turn. Devil. Ready. It's going to be good. Dude, I want to see some enthusiasm for this one. Now I'm going to keep myself centered. Well, hey, why don't you get in there, have fun. you got to find the walkie-talkie, don't forget. That's our magical little system. That I we've remember got. the rules. It's the fourth I'll episode. I'll give you a little toot-toot, you know, so you can find it in there. Gotcha. Toot-toot. Oh, boy. Devil. Oh, shit, I'm so scared. <laughs> God damn it. Why do I do this to myself every single damn time? Ah, here we are. Every time he it's gets to this baby. point, he asks himself that him. question. What the fuck? What was? Holy <laughs> shit. What's that? No way. <laughs> was it? Was it? <laughs> was it Shane? These are just noises for, for a friend. Oh, that's Shane. <laughs> that's Shane on the walkie. I almost walked out. Because <laughs> <laughs> if I heard that, I would just leave. Wait, I am going to rewind. Wait, if I heard that, I would leave. I would go. I would not be there anymore. You seen Devil Baby? Huh? You seen him? What Please. the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. No way. <laughs> <laughs> These are just noises for for a friend. Oh, that's Shane. That's Shane on the walk. I almost <laughs> walked out. <sighs> that sounded scarily accurate. Mario. You scared the shit out of me. I knew that you knew the walkie was in there so that you probably would have pieced it together that I was making noises. But I thought the initial impact of hearing that strange noise would probably still get you. I considered walking back out. Oh, I love it. Great. Sorry you had to go all the way up to the attic. Okay, okay. your time has begun! Yay. While you're up there, see if nighttime Dan is up there. Yeah, I was just about to reach out to him. While you're up there in the attic still, actually, can you close the door to the attic? 
<laughs> Why do you look so scared? Can I ask, go ahead and close the door to the attic? Sorry, you're breaking up every now and then. No, 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 <laughs> no, I'm not. Close the door to the attic. <laughs> I, 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 I can I, This is not how a professional hunter <laughs> behaves, Ryan. Fine. Okay, nighttime, Dan. You up here? Ghost interference? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Moon. I Hello. probably look insane right now, just sitting in the dark with a giant helmet on, laughing to myself. And you're right. I am insane. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> really nice vibes in there. I, uh, for a lot of the time I was in there, I just turned my flashlight off and let, did a, a darkness bath, which I think is good for the soul. Very relaxing, yes. You just take yes. showers in the dark. Hot water hitting you sort of dulls all your senses. Cause you, like, it's Shower in the dark? Hot water. And then when there's no visual information, also it's, you know, it's you, you're almost like a white noise no. with the water going. So it's like you're, you're static, you're fuzz, you know, you're nothing. I guess it makes sense. The shower be boogeyman will get you. Man. Peace, baby. Yo, I get scared if I close my eyes for too long in the shower. You gotta open your eyes every now and then to make sure the shower boogeyman isn't standing there with a knife. Jesus, it's so loud. Yeah, I'm on the second floor. All right, hop into that bedroom. All right, who here is gonna who, who here is gonna try to take a shower in the dark today? Terrible idea. Don't slip and fall. Behind you, <laughs> so it's not bright in there. Uh, lay on the ground. And look up at that Shower boogie man. He's it's real. It's real. You know you're only supposed to tell me one thing, you son of a bitch. I, I don't. You know you know when you're like rinsing shampoo out of your hair and you have to close your eyes, but you have to do it really fast so that way you can open your eyes again and make sure, you make sure. True. You told me to. There's do no one in there. Things. Thank you for agreeing with me. Thank you. Turn off the light now. It's a real thing. For 30 seconds. The soap demon. This is horrible. Wait, did I just hear Sally? Holy shit, it says Sally. Like... Sally House, Sally? What the hell is she doing here? Nope, I'm not talking to Sally. Fuck that. Hey, Ryan. What do you want? I know I said the last thing was the last thing I'd ask him to do, but I got one more thing. Shocker! Um, the stairs were the, uh, where we've seen a devil baby, where I bounced him on my little lap. Uh, can you lay on those? <laughs> lay on those <laughs> stairs? <laughs> That doesn't even sound like I'm gonna be able to oh, I guess here. Shane has too much fun with this, I think. Alright, I'm on my back. This sucks. Hey, check this out. This is what I'm doing on these stairs. You ready? Controversial methods, but they always work, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> no. house at some point. No. But holy shit, dude! I think holy they summoned shit. the ghost with that. Honestly. Turn what? where? Where do you want? Where do you want me to turn? Have we gotten some results here? I'm on the. I'm. I'm passing the second floor where the uh, the general the 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 landing of the second floor is. And as I just passed it, the ovulus, which had been silent for a long time, just said fire. Fire. Oh, because there were fires there. And then it said turn. Turn. What did? What does it want me to look at? I. Start turning in a circle. Yes, I think. 
No, no, now he's got. Now he's just spinning in a circle. Oh my god. What? What do we got for goose? What? I just turned around. There's a fire alarm right there. Oh, there's a fire alarm. Yeah. Interesting. Maybe it may like the maybe they should pull the fire alarm. Hello? Ah, oh, thank God. That was a fun one. Spooky. It was. Really fun place. You did a great job, it seems like. You know who came in on the spirit box? Not the spirit box, the Ovilus is uh, Sally. Sa the Sally? The name Sally came through. Oh. I was just thinking maybe it's because there's like that poor, I have no idea. Well, shall we get out of here? I think so. Whole house, it's been a treat. Salute to a beautiful house. One for the books. One that was books. a solid episode. Uh, go eat a hot the dog. last one was really unhinged. <laughs> the, the St. Ignatius house a was a really unhinged home one. Within a college campus is about as unassuming as it gets. And yet, That's weird that it's like in a college campus. That's okay. I think want to watch. Let's see how long the next episode is because this one was short, well, shorter compared to the last one we saw. The next one is an hour long. It's the Grim Gallows of the Whaley House. Do you guys want to watch that one next? Wait, I didn't watch the Hobo Hill one, but that one. So it's just two more. It's Grim Gallows and then Haunting of Hobo Hill. Let's boot it up, baby. Okay, I'll boot it up. Let's go Grim Gallows time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, Whaley House. Guess who's back? I mean, oh, guess who's back? So they were here during, like, what, their BuzzFeed Unsolved era? Incredibly erotic. <laughs> Jen, squeeze me! Are you moving around? Is somebody moving around in this house? Whee! <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, I think this is gonna be a fun episode, you guys. I think this is gonna be a really good episode. <laughs> Okay, all right. Megan and I have evidence from the Whaley house. I suddenly felt like somebody was watching like a full body effort. Hair was standing up on my heart. A stick figure is still up on your left shape on the right hand side. I want to go ghost hunting. Get myself a rim pod and a spirit box and an ovulus and a Polaroid camera. I, I, I would bring a Polaroid camera and not a phone camera to take pictures. And I would flirt with all of the ghosts. It's a ghost flirting Welcome show. Ghost Files, where we take not a ghost hunting show. Our tools into the field to expose the supernatural. My partner, a skeptic. Oh, he did his Myself, hair. Myself, a believer. Both of us, truth seekers. This week, he our team travels now. to San Diego, California, to investigate the Whaley House. San Diego. Museum. I feel like someone mentioned the Whaley House back when we were doing San Diego planning for TwitchCon. Suddenly this sounds familiar. Okay. Well, well, well. If it isn't the old Whaley House. I like the gas our lamp. Our nemesis back when we were just young amateurs. Still looks gorgeous, I'll tell you that. It does look beautiful. Nice, uh, lovely red brick building. I love red brick buildings. You think there's any haunted oh, yeah. houses I, in Florida? I guess I never knew that about you. I'm not gonna like this one. I feel like I didn't like it last Probably. time, and I won't like it this time. Shall we? Let's get in there. Oh, Whaley House. Guess who's back? It's the fucking guys, baby. No, Come that's on. not Let's have right. a real lover <laughs> ghost daddy. show. Yeah. The Whaley House Museum was originally built in 1857 as home of the Whaley family. Built as a luxurious mansion, it quickly became an integral part of the community, serving as a school, a polling place, a bilingual general store, San Diego's <laughs> first commercial theater. <laughs> Not only are we trying to find ghosts tonight, but we're also trying to find love. That'll be the uh, the intro line to it. <laughs> And even a courtroom. Is that so? Well, wait, I didn't realize that. So all at once, yeah, they were... Yeah, you'll see it. There's a theater room upstairs, and downstairs is the active courtroom. Have... I'll see it, because I've seen it. I, you don't have to... Well, clearly you don't me. remember anything, because... Well, I thought I just... maybe, though, that they were like, okay, this is the courtroom. 
Uh, but let's turn it into some vaudeville action, you know. I'm just saying there's a building that has a court A legal and ghost. A actual theater as well as a general store. And you're like, wait, so this one replaced that. You can't, if you can't remember that, I mean, you get what I'm getting at, right? right? It's a pretty memorable thing, I feel like. Yeah, I guess so. Your brain's ruined, man. <laughs> I got too the fog now. Too so. many hunts. <laughs> <laughs> too many hunts. But its main purpose was home to the tragedy-marred Whaley family, four of whom would die in the house. But beyond being a historic landmark, it's also widely regarded as the most haunted house in America. Many believe it's due to the land's history as a cemetery and use for public executions, including one of the home's infamous ghosts, Yankee Jim Robinson. I'd like to clarify for the viewers, uh, sure, we've been here before, but last time we went there, we were novices. And now they are You're professionals. Right, we what are we bringing in this time? Okay, we got <laughs> thunder and lightning. We're yeah. bringing those. Uh, a lot fight more the tools. Again. I don't think we had any tools last time. That's true. We had. Uh, well, we had these tools. <laughs> we are the uh, but, internet's tool. But we, uh, you, will. you know, you didn't have your little spirit box. I didn't have my spirit box. You I didn't, didn't have my SLS. Your little SLS, your little, SLS, your little have, REM pod. I didn't have, uh, I mean, I didn't really have any tools. No. The two-story Greek Revival house sits in Old Town San Diego and was designed by Thomas Whaley himself. It was considered to be a beautiful mansion at the time, despite its smaller stature by today's standards. Consisting of a 3,680 square foot area, we'll start our investigation on the first floor in the parlor, believed to be the most active room in the house. It's where Thomas and Anna Whaley have been spotted and the area where Yankee Jim was hanged before the home was erected on the ground. Oh, fun. We've placed fun. cameras and audio recorders in two of the most active parts of the building in hopes that we catch activity That's throughout the fun. night. One in the aforementioned parlor and the second in the first floor courtroom, which is said to be a portal. And <laughs> finally, a portal? to end the investigation, oh, Shane no. and I will each be forced to explore the entire building one at a time because danger is my middle name. Oh, yeah. I remember it like the back of my hand. Well, clearly not, because you forgot that there was a courthouse, a, <laughs> a courthouse, <laughs> no, a I theater, to... and a general store. No, listen to me, you <laughs> son of a bitch. I'm just saying that if you think, no, oh, I up. know this building like the back shut of my hand. Shut up! Anyway, I'm excited <laughs> to go here. Jesus fucking Christ. What do you want from me? I'm going on your little trip, okay? The truth, it's not a to little To a place trip. we've already been. Yeah, to find more ghosts. Yeah. Because for some reason, I need to find more ghosts because even though I've found plenty of ghosts, no, you haven't. two of which have been caught on camera that you saw Ooh, with those they stink. two little beady eyes and you still, you can't Wait, see. Two little beady eyes? That's right. Oh, I'm, I'm the beady eyes? Yeah, we're, I pointed right at you. I see. Uh, I thought you were saying you saw two beady eyes floating in the darkness, in which case- I do, every hunt. Congrats to you. Yours, they're high up. You son of a kill you. <laughs> <laughs> the first room I love them so much. is believed to be the most active, the parlor. The ghost of Anna Whaley has been seen in the parlor wearing a green dress, sipping tea, as well as possibly Thomas Whaley, dressing up for the occasional sighting with a top hat and a coat. As mentioned before, the land the house was built on was said to not only play home to a cemetery, but more horrifically, the original Old Town Gallows, where many were hanged including one of the home's more infamous ghosts, Yankee Jim Robinson. Was that like his full the name? the family themselves suspected haunted their home. The arch in the parlor is believed to be the exact spot where Yankee Jim was hanged for allegedly stealing a boat. This spot is also where I myself heard a whisper on our past investigation. Maybe they should Back stop then. building houses where people die. And I sat right here Maybe. and nearly shit myself in a chair. And that would have cost a lot of money, so I'm glad you didn't. That's true. I guess technically you're always shitting yourself in a chair if you count a toilet. Anyways, this is the spot right here. New this question. Is... People keep asking, is cereal soup? New question. Is a toilet a chair? The spot where... Know the arch. That's the, the new question. Would, this is where the hangings would have occurred. And what did you hear when you were here alone? I a heard whisper. a little whisper. And did, did it say anything in particular? Or was it just... It was just more like a, a breath to let me say know. Say a toilet is a chair. You, you sit in it. Whisper. What did it say? You're gonna be a real good ghost hunter one day. No, it wasn't that long. It was oh. more like a... <sighs> well, wait, another... But you see, you say, hey, sit on the chair. Well, no. You know, sit... Do you say sit in a chair or sit on a chair? Some people say sit in a chair, but you're sitting on it. But no one says sit in a toilet. They say sit on a toilet. Anyways. It wasn't like, it, said. it was like a- The pin's on the chair. <laughs> it was a little monkey. What if this time I pick up instead of, 
I pick up two haas. And it's just a ghost laughing at me. Yeah. And the third time I come back, it's and then when you're elderly, yeah, you, yeah, you should never be sitting in a toilet. A Absolutely bit. not. <laughs> <laughs> then that would sound like Yankee Jim's doing something else. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, so that's why they call me Yankee Jim. <laughs> so you could show us a sign that you're in here. That would be fantastic. And that could be maybe something <laughs> that could be touching one of us. You could uh, tickle Shane's little chin. I know it's a little high up, probably for you because you're I'm smaller. I'm squatting right now. He's doing that for you. He worked out for months just to be able to do this move for longer than 10 seconds. It's his world record. So right there is a, a uh, little device under this archway. The rim. You walk towards pod. the archway like this. That'll signify yes. And we'll be able to see it on this thing. The rim pod creates its own circular electromagnetic I like electromagnetic the rim pod. Field. I want it one. Will alarm when anything penetrates that fume. The more colors on the alarm, the more significant the intrusion. The rim pod also detects temperature fluctuations. Pretty solid. If there's somebody here with us right now, can you walk towards that archway? Or if you're already under the archway... <laughs> Go fund me for all of to get a rim pod. <laughs> okay, interesting. Uh, Yankee Jim, if you're in the room, could you walk towards the archway? <clears throat> or anybody that might dwell inside this room, can you walk towards that archway? Do you like that people come into this house? Do you not like that people come into this house? <laughs> That's the temperature going up. The temperature is going up. So you don't like that people come into this house? Is it us in particular that you don't like? Well, that's kind of comforting. We usually are the reason. Yeah, that's true. We're known for clearing out the room, as they say. Anyways, we're going to head out of here. You like that? Do you like us leaving you alone? Is that it? You're a mystery. Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> just gonna say, maybe the one. Is that just because of you walking toward it? Unhaunted place. I mean, last time you had to be pretty close. Yeah. But it's really. Do you want me to come over there? I want them to pull out the spirit box. Well, now it's not going outside. I don't know. I don't understand this machine. Okay. Huh. Huh. Well, it's gonna be fun being here alone later. But you're gonna hate it. <laughs> Our next room is the courtroom, which actually saw legal proceedings. Proof that jury duty will even find you in death, <laughs> a woman is sometimes seen sitting in the back corner. Mm. This corner oh. is also claimed to be a spiritual vortex what? by paranormal investigators. You claim that this is a spiritual vortex. That's right. Tell me more about that. Is that sort of like a poltergeist house situation where it eventually one day will implode? <laughs> I can't take you. You look like me. Like if you were to show a picture. I look like the one who should believe exactly. in ghosts. Exactly. If you were to show a picture of the two of us to any normal person, be like, which one of these two nut jobs believes in ghosts? 1,000% Steve Jobs I'm meets Lucius Malfoy. Clearly this fucking guy. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I myself felt a shiver up my little spine while sitting on the back corner. <laughs> my little spine. Let's see if this court is still in session. Back in the courtroom. Oh, the reported sight of the portal. Do you remember this room? I remember that. You sat over there, you, you cried like a little baby. I don't think that part happened. That seems to be a little bit of an embellishment. Hello. You may remember us from the parlor or from several years ago. That's right. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> and better than ever. Now, uh, this actually was an active courtroom back in the day. Yeah, you can tell because it looks like a courtroom. Yeah, this is where well, we I mean, work, Sometimes Pink. things are dressed up as a courtroom. And this is where we work. Like a set or something like that. Yes, I'm aware that this is not a movie set. I'm just saying, you know. The last time, you felt a little... I did feel a little something. A little tug over there. I didn't feel a tug I thought you got a little tug over there. I think that was post-shoot. <laughs> Anyways. Look at you over there in the corner. A bad little guy. I'm just gonna close my eyes. Do you want me to not shine the light on you? Yeah, is maybe. That a little distracting? maybe. It's a little distracting. I'm trying, okay. to, I'm trying to tap in right now. Hold on. You know... 
No feelings of queasiness this time around. For now, let's set up a mag light right here on this chair and we'll see what we get. We have now placed a mag light over in uh, the corner that's said to be a vortex. So if there's anything in here with us, do us a favor. We got a chatty one tonight. Jumped oh, did the, the flashlight just turn I'm gonna need whoever on or off? is in here to really listen to my instructions for me to see if there's actually somebody in here. This is really entertaining. I love them. If there's any members of the Whaley family with us in this courtroom, please turn on that mag light. I'm just waiting for something spooky to happen. Okay. If you're a member of the jury and you, you know, choked on a walnut or something while you were serving your your uh, oh. <laughs> walnut eater. There's said to be a, a woman who sits in this corner in particular in this room. I'm now speaking to you. Can you turn on that light to acknowledge that you're here? Ma'am? Miss? Darling? That's condescending. This lady? seems to be lady. Hey, the lady. most unhaunted location yet. However, the episode is an hour long. So. Corner lady. Can you turn on the light, corner lady? Let this angle get spooky. At this moment, oh. our audio recorder picks up this voice. Can you turn on the light, corner lady? Do you have a name? Is it Anna? Is it Violet? Selena? Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's no Selena Whaley. No, but it could be a lady, you know, that's a popular name. Are you Selena, the famed pop artist? Well, I don't think it's her. If you're Selena, the famous pop artist, turn off the light. That would be an interesting just a contact regular, to Just a regular <laughs> Selena. There's plenty of Selena. That's true. Gomez. Selena Gomez. She's still alive as far as I know, though. Yeah, the, yes. Wait, did they mention uh, how this ghost died? Yeah, or is, is this just no, a no, ghost? That would be a horrible way to, Generally. to break that news. Did you catch that voice too? I did hear that. Here it is again. If there's anybody who was wrongfully accused and wrongfully That executed, was something. Can you turn on that light right? Ah, you son of a bitch. Sure. Of course. Well, the legal system had its flaws back in the day. I'm sure they moved a lot of people through here unjustly. You know what? Let's move on to a different method here. So let's do the Estes Spirit Box. Yeah! This is where, of course, I put on noise-canceling headphones on your big old head. Yeah. And I plug that directly into the Spirit Box, and you just say anything you hear. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm going to be asking questions and using you as a conduit. I like you this. Let's go, let's go. So whatever you're saying, if it makes sense, that's pretty cool. I am the antenna. You are the antenna, and the biggest am, one I've ever seen. I am that. the megaphone Let's go, let's go, dead. Spirit you're Box time. So he can't hear me right now. Hey, Shane. You're an idiot. <laughs> my name is Ryan, so if there's anything in this room, can you send my name back to me? Can you tell me your name? Changing. Changing is Respond. Not... I, okay, what do you want me to change the question and then you'll respond to how about this? Uh, snake tester. <laughs> snake tester? <laughs> Uh, is that why you were in here? Did you do something weird with snakes? <laughs> is that something you're into? Why are you in this courtroom? Afraid. Are you, Snake you're afraid you're in this courtroom. Are you like some sort of animal <laughs> fetish kind of guy? Is that why you're in here? I'm not sure if bestiality juicy. was a crime. <laughs> juicy, okay, juicy horses Sister. and snakes. You're into some weird things, pal. <laughs> if you're talking about snakes, horses, and your sister, those are three things that I feel like could be farther from each other. Por favor. <laughs> You're gonna need to start making, uh, making a little bit more sense because none of these things are related. Murder. <laughs> murder. <laughs> there was no murder in this place as far as I know, unless you, of course, count Yankee Jim. Yankee Jim, is this you? Jelly. <laughs> what are you jealous of? Now. Oh, or maybe you want jelly <laughs> right now, like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Do you These. like it? Are you trying to get me to say D's nuts? D's what? D's tomato. <laughs> Big lung. Big lung? Nude. No, I'm not. Okay, I'm not getting. I'm, I'm going to leave now. You need. You need some help. Purple. You're a sick person. Take the. 
September. Take, take the <laughs> headphones off. Take, thief. You could see me. You can't. <laughs> I, I didn't want to leave. It's fun being in that world. Yeah, it is. It is. Uh, none of the things you said made any sense. Not a one of them? I mean, there was a part where you might have insinuated <sighs> that the person is going to live. Having intercourse with snakes, <laughs> and sister. But yeah. Oh. No, not oh. Oh. <laughs> Freaky. Later in the night, an audio recorder left in this room. I think that was the best, like Estes spirit box conversation that they've had so far. Picked up this voice when nobody was there. <laughs> As mentioned before. See, that's that sounds very clearly like someone like whispering. But what 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 do you think made that noise? Because me as a non ghost believer but snakes, horses, and Oh, I think I went a bit too yeah. far. Oh. That's okay. No, not oh. Oh. Freaky. Later in the night, an audio recorder left in this room picked up this voice when nobody was there. <laughs> As mentioned before, Thomas Whaley himself suspected that his home was haunted by the ill-fated Yankee Jim. Whaley would report heavy footsteps often coming up and down <laughs> the stairs Vito. that he attributed to Jim. Members of the family reported seeing the imprints of his footsteps as well as Jim causing a tightening in their chest or throat and cold spots throughout the home. Speaking of Thomas Whaley, he's also reportedly seen on the landing of these stairs. Perhaps he's a ghost hunting a ghost. So we actually set up a REM pod. A ghost hunting on a the ghost. Stairwell because they often heard footsteps going up and down this stairwell. Oh. oh. What's going on? That's the temperature going up. Wow, it's really spiking. I think that's. That's a hot stairwell. Yeah. Is there somebody upstairs on that landing that could walk towards us? Any members of the Whaley family sleeping right now? Could you come downstairs? Do you think ghosts sleep? Anybody up there? No. Who's that? I don't know. Think Somebody want to meet me in the middle of the stairs? I'm going to walk up the stairs. If you could walk down the stairs, we could be in the middle. How about that? See? Just like that. Actually, what if I wait up here, Shane, and you wait down there? OK, we can do that. That sounds fun. Ooh, I really don't like this. Well, deal with it. Okay, my back is to the um, the stairs here. You could push them very easily. You could very easily push me down these stairs if that's something you're into. If you get them at the right angle, that little antenna on the REM pod could impale him. That'd be fun. Be quiet. Are you moving around? Is somebody moving around in this house? Me? What do you hear up there? What's you know, moving? Us, dude, it's, oh my god, the, all the hair standing up on my... No one's moving. Is there oh. a here? Can you come up here? I'm not investigating this on myself. Okay. <laughs> I'm hearing okay. squeaking. It sounds like someone's rocking back and forth in a chair or There bed. better not oh, be a rocking that. chair. That's creepy. Oh my god, there is a rocking chair up here. Oh no. Oh, a, a little lady. Why are there dolls? Maybe it was her. Okay, wait, oh. let's, let's be very Everyone still. Everyone stop moving, yeah. the REM pod going off on the stairs. Oh? Something messing with us right now? Is there somebody moving around this house? It's kind of creepy. You can show yourself. We don't mean any harm. I know you might be scared. I am too. Well, this room would have seen a lot of action. It's not unheard of for there to be. Did you whisper? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus, fucking losing my mind now. You know, I've always been curious of this, and what? I carry it with me on every investigation. Is it a knife? A yeah. ghost knife? Well, I was just going to take out my Glock. Okay. <laughs> uh, this is actually just a standard issue compass. A normal compass can be used to detect irregularities in electromagnetic fields, which spirits are said to be able to manipulate. Oh, really impressive. I didn't uh, do that one more time, just so I can it's see pretty that's good, cool. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One more time. It didn't have the snap. It didn't have the snap. One more time. Nice. Oh, that's pretty snazzy. 
well, I know which way north is. Yeah, I guess that's probably why you don't whip that thing out too often, huh? Because if this thing started going topsy-turvy, oh, this whole investigation would go tits up. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We'd be screaming. You'd fall down the stairs. I'd, I'd, I'd walk down the stairs. You know, it's highly possible that they don't like it to make noise when we're up there. Whoa! What are you getting? Did, did you catch that? No, sorry. The arrow just started going, Whoo! When I was holding it still, oh, no, it's not doing it anymore. That was cool. Well, I'm sorry I didn't get that. Interesting. Well, that's very unfortunate, Shane. Yeah, I apologize. <laughs> Our next investigation takes us up to the second floor, the nursery room, where visitors oh, often man. hear cries and giggles of a baby, believed to be the ghost of Thomas Jr., who died inside the house at only 18 months old from scarlet fever. Some have claimed to hear small footsteps believed to be from a child or a toddler. It is also the place where Megan Satello captured this piece of evidence. Oh, I thought that was the yeah. sound of the... All right. At first I thought the, the grunting was the sound of the evidence. I was in one of the upstairs bedrooms and I took out my phone to take a few photos. In one of the photos, I could tell immediately there was a shape on the right hand side. In the nursery, she took a picture, she caught what appears to be hair in the right oh, side of the frame, something that wasn't there. Something what do you think fuzzy. about this? You know, it's a photo of some hair. But if the hair wasn't there. If you're telling me that there's nothing there and they got a photo of some hair, then what's the ghost doing exactly? Is it just like... I will say <laughs> that it doesn't really look like Thomas Jr. unless he had a wonderful mane of hair at 18 months, so... Babies have hair at 18 months. That kind of kiss hair? What do you mean? That could be the top of his head. It looks like Gene Simmons. What the fuck are you talking <laughs> about? No, it doesn't. It just looks like a little... Look little at the mane, fucking... dude. There's a mane. It That's a down mane? From, yes, from down to there Maybe to there. Maybe to you, but not to me. Holy <laughs> shit. So here we are outside the nursery. This is where we received the photo from Meg. Mm -hmm. And she actually captured a photo, if you remember, right here towards the mirror and there was hair in it. Now seeing that you can't even go in there. Makes a lot of sense It's now. even crazier that she captured the hair. And it wouldn't be the hair of that funny little doll because that appears to be made out of porcelain. No, that's a porcelain. And it was quite wispy. Well, I don't know there what that would be. But unlike Megan, we are fortunate to be able to go inside. Oh, I just want to make sure if you take one here in my, uh, you know, oh, my Jesus head's Christ. here. I just want to. Move your move your body so that the hair is trying more, to recreate the photo. Yeah, so could have been standing there like this. How's that look? Let's see. <laughs> you know, it could be. It could be. <laughs> it's actually not bad. It's actually not bad. But I don't see why anyone might be standing. Yeah, why there would like, someone? That would be someone. Blatantly unless they saw a, a spider. And once again, this is not something that people normally can do. So, adding further credence to that photo. And boy, is it well, tiny. So people here. are not allowed in here. No, that's why I was saying the so photo capturing hair this. is interesting. Uh, it's a small room. It is. It's a small room full of dolls. Oof. Now, this is Anne O'Quayley's. What was that? Is that somebody moving? What was that? I love how quiet they get every time they hear oh. something. Where was it? That sounded like from downstairs, right? It sounded like it was from downstairs. Defeated sigh. Hello? The party's up here. If you want to come up here, <laughs> we're in the middle of investigating the uh, the nursery. Come and join Stop us. Stop piss farting around downstairs and come up here. I didn't mean that. That sounded mean. Please don't hurt me later. <laughs> okay. You can if you want. You can take it. I can't. All right. Time to bring out a fan favorite, the Ovulus, baby. I like this. The Ovulus takes environmental readings that spirits are said to manipulate. Oh heck such yeah! As Ovulus or time, baby. Fields, Put it on dictionary mode. Into corresponding words or phonetic sounds. Heck yeah, let's go. Can you name anything in this room? There's a good one to name. Little Nine. friend. Page. Uh huh. Well, there's got to be a book in here. Oh hey, Paige Ryan, a book. I guess ghosts are real. Well, there actually is a picture of somebody on this page. Oh, maybe they're communicating. Is this you in the book? Is this you on the page? Okay. Getting a little preachy. Anything on that page about the rapture? No, it's about smallpox. 
If you had to describe <laughs> me in one word, what would it be? I'm gonna wait this one out because it could be worth it. <laughs> oh, but they're gonna, they want to answer your question. How about this? If you want to describe me in one word, what would you say? Well, that's not very nice Go to on. ignore Nothing. somebody like that. <gasps> well, it's not that show. I'm reaching out to Anna Whaley right now. Could you tell me what happened to you, your son? Drunk. In this room, if you're okay with talking about it. Bring out the alcohol again, like they did in the other really episode. Well, it's a sensitive subject. That's true. Well, hey, we come to you with the utmost sincerity. Tell Is us about your family and what happened in this room. Slain. Slain. Thought they died of like scarlet fever. Well, I don't like that. No. I'm Did sorry. someone die in this room? Yes. The baby right there. <gasps> yep. That's a yes. All right. Yes well, we're okay, gonna get well, your hair like that. here. Uh, I love that. As soon as they hear anything that's like mildly spooky, they're like, "Okay, yep, nope, time to go. Let's go. Time to mm, wrap it up." Thanks for uh, chit chatting with us. Sitting right next to the nursery room is the theater room. This theater was San Diego's first commercial theater, reportedly capable of accommodating up to 150 guests. This space has seen multitudes of people over the years. It was once rented to a local theater troupe, performing a variety of entertainment from dancing, drama, comedy, and music. Vaudeville music has been reportedly heard coming from this room. You look like the kind of guy that would be in the vaudeville music. Could you explain to the audience what that is? <laughs> I honestly don't know what that is. I assume it's like, uh, I guess I imagined like one of those old timey pianos where the guy playing it looks like he's on cocaine. You know? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Right, yeah, like ragtime. <laughs> yeah, 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 kind of and then you could have some violin like. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah. Let's do that together. <laughs> All right, now we're walking into the theater. This is actually said to be one Good. of the most active rooms in the house, probably because there was so much human alive activity in here. And people are often touched and poked on the back of this stage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit back there yeah. in the dark and we're gonna leave the REM pod out here where the audience would be. Where are they? Are they sitting down or laying What's down? Happening? It's, uh, it's uh, giving us a little applause. A lot of activity on that. Okay, well, you've seen us all night. Shane and Ryan coming to have a good old time in here, just trying to make some contact, make some friends. Now, if anybody inside this theater, and this could be anybody, anybody who's had a fun time in this house, or the Whaley's themselves, if you'd like to make contact with us, please do so now. If the motion picture Casper has taught me anything, you can actually put your finger sort of inside of us and give it a little wiggle and it'll make us feel funny. I don't think that's true, but you know, let's go with it. It happened in the film. Well, that's a movie. Yeah, it's about as scientific as my stuff. <laughs> okay, well, just because you start to fade yourself out doesn't mean I can, hear you. I can hear what you're saying. So. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna close our <laughs> eyes and we're just gonna sit here and the floor is yours and I'm talking to anybody in this house. All right, here we go. I am open, I am a vessel, I am a receptacle. Are they just sitting there waiting to get no, poked? No, but I am seeing that the REM pod's going up in temperature right now. Oh, it's little, we got little beep beeps. You guys like that in the audience? You like what you're seeing? It's getting them hot. <laughs> I hear Yankee Jim likes hanging out in this back corner. Jim, are you here with us right now? Jim, make some noise. James? Is that a yes for you? Is that you, Yankee? Just bring Jim? out the spirit box again. Can you step away from the pod, please? Okay. Okay. Now, it's said that vaudeville music is actually heard here. Can we hear some of that? Yeah, just really belt it out. We'd love to see a show. Vaudeville music, you know how that goes, the piano. You did a wonderful duet, sort of Hi, Max. They like that? Hi, bestie. My biggest fan and for being my favorite member of our D&D party. Oh, heck yeah. You heard it, I'm the best. <laughs>
Oh, pretty for good Megs. Thank you for the 16 months. Thank you for the prime. Hi, Eggy. Thank you very Egg much. Grassland? Now, we'd love to see a show. That's right. We're paying customers. Well, we're not paying. I paid $2 to come into this show. Oh, dear. All right, I like what I'm seeing. Move that chair. You move the chair? Move the chair. <laughs> Go on, move the chair. Do it. Don't, don't back talk us. Oh, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Whoa. Okay, oh, now this whoa, is a whoa. show. This is crazy. Oh, there's colors. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Bra bravo. Yeah, yeah, come Very on good. now. Very oh, good. that's incredible. Encore. They're very encouraging. Encore. I like this. Encore. They're very Encore. supportive. Hey. Oh. oh, yeah! yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now that's a show, folks. No more? Look at the clapping. <laughs> Just silence. The Isabel clapping yes, down there. Yes, we'd love to see more flashing Perfect lights. Perfect timing. Okay, okay. Pulling out all the tricks on this one. Okay, if there's somebody on that stage right now. You know yes, what? If there's somebody Wait, they should pull out. They should pull out the screen where you can see like if, if the, the skeleton of a person. I, I forgot what they call it. The, the screen bit where they track like human shapes and a movement and to see if anyone's dancing up there. Beep, 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 beep. It's almost like Morse code. If, if, if we translated this, what if this is perfect Morse code? Turn that. Ooh, I just the got SLS. Yeah, I think that's what that was called. The SLS. They should pull if up that. There's somebody on that stage right now. St sit on that chair. Read us that book. Do a backflip. Okay, well, it's, I don't know about How that. hard? They could do backflips. I feel like then. reading a book, going you don't think to they did doing backflip? a backflip is, is a little bit of a jump. Well, no pun intended. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to head out of here. That was a good show. I actually thought that was well worth the money. Yeah. Uh, Do a flip. Come up backflip. here later. I better see some backflips. Okay, well, I don't know what your obsession right. suddenly is with backflips. It would be cool if a ghost suddenly appeared doing a backflip and did, like, straight toward you. The ghost agrees. Hey, look, if you think that's a good idea, then show us the backflip. No, it's going to appear suddenly starting to do a backflip, and it'll disappear right as the leg is about to kick your face. Doing a gainer? A what? A gainer is when you move forward while doing a backflip. Is that what you're gonna do later? You're gonna gainer us? Do a backflip. All right, we're gonna leave. Fine. <laughs> no backflip, back no, no boys. No. <laughs> well, oh. Yeah. Okay, what do you want from us? I, I don't understand. It's is like, this... I can do it. Look, just, just, just give me a second. I need I, it to work I, up I, the you nerve. Know what? I bet they gotta practice. So we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna leave. You give him, give them some back. time to call. warm up, we'll of course. When we get back here later, we better see him. The next location is the older kids' room. Another it's known kids' to be room. Wheelie's room. Ah, AKA shoot. The sorrowful room. The sorrowful Violet room. Violet had married a con man who reportedly, after discovering he lacked access to the Whaley family fortune, snuck away into the night during their honeymoon. Grief stricken and abandoned, Violet tragically took her own life in this room via gunshot. Consequently, visitors have seen Violet's apparition in this room. In fact, visitor Meg Henry believes she may now have captured see. exactly that. That's a good, that's a good, good ghost backstory right there. On the first floor of the Whaley house, and I had just learned how Violet had committed suicide. She had died just feet from where we were standing. And I remember feeling really emotionally affected by that. So when we got up onto the second floor, I stood outside of her room and... I just remember feeling this great, overwhelming feeling of sadness. Well, like it wasn't even mine. But you just said you were like emotionally affected. And so You're just photograph. sad. And if you look in the left-hand corner of the photograph, you'll see what looks like a full-body apparition. I... no. So Meg claims she captures no. the apparition of Violet Whaley on the left side of frame. No, it's no. possibly Violet in a blue... It's just the... everyone take, takes photos through glass. It's just glass reflection. It's... The dress with white lace I see nothing. Bottom. You could kind of maybe nothing. see arms going towards like the bedpost. Very interesting. 
That's just a reflection of the person taking the photo. These people gotta take better pictures. <laughs> if you want a clearer picture, then a clearer picture you'll get. Let's get it ourselves. Let's get it. Okay, now we're entering Violet's room. This is where people usually see her, and this is in fact where Meg caught a picture of Violet that we're gonna recreate right now. And maybe we need to be in it, because then it's like, you know, they're like, ooh, better haunt that photo. Fresh meat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look at that meat. <laughs> show me that meat, boy. Don't, don't say that while you take a photo. <laughs> show me that meat. Here he is on the ground with his little toys. They're not toys. No, oh, I know. You just look like a four-year-old playing with your little toys right now. The rim bod. What else you got in there? Some peanut m and <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okja. My name is Ryan. <laughs> Yo. Whoa. That did, you did. I'm not joking you here. After you said my name's Ryan, did you not hear Violet? I did not actually hear that. Rewind the tapes. My name is Ryan. <laughs> Who are we talking to? Who's here? I heard hi. Did you say hello? Who is this? Who are we speaking to right now? Are we speaking to Viola Whaley? How about can you tell me what happened to Violet Whaley? Sorry, can you say that again? I'm gonna ask that again. Can you tell me what happened to Violet Whaley in here? Not a lot of activity here. Is there a reason why you're so quiet right now? <laughs> oh, Swarby, thank you for you the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Welcome in. We're watching uh, leave, Ghost Files so. today. It's getting quieter. Are you ignoring us? What? what in the world? This, it just, you know, you know how loud it started off as and now it's just quiet? Okay, that's, that's kind of spooky. You know when I mean, the ghost gets really quiet? Oh man. You just turn down the, the spirit box. It's the most I've ever believed in a ghost. Just, <laughs> just knowing that they hate that as much as I do. This thing sucks. Turn just it imagining off. imagining like an undead person just walking in the room. It's <laughs> walking out. You could use this to communicate with us. Maybe you've been trying to to all the people who walk through here. Now's your chance. If you have something to say, I would say it now. Is there something you want to tell us? Here, I already hang on. Hang on to what? I'll wait. Just take your time. Is there something you want me to tell me about this room? <laughs> 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 They don't like this radio, and I don't blame them. And there's no need to be snippy about it. Is that you? Is that you, Thomas? You sound like a man's voice. Jesus! You sound like a baby. Maybe it's... If you want us to leave, spirit box to really go, we'll popping go. off tonight. See, they're really loud or really quiet. Okay. Take care, Swarvy. Take care. I'll say that's never happened with the honey tunnel. We've been using it for several episodes now. It's never just quietly turned itself off. That was very strange. strange. That was the a bit odd. The sits on the second floor across the nursery room, where Yankee Jim is often seen. Now this is a genuine skeleton key that the Whaley's used to unlock every door in the house. We've used trigger objects in the past, oh. yeah. but they haven't been an actual artifact. They've been something that looks like it. Does it have this a lot of, the, that feels like a legitimate key. This is likely where Thomas and Anna Whaley would have slept, and possibly where Anna may have died since okay. she actually died in the house. Just wondering if this means anything to you. A passing of Wait, the torch, Wait, hold on. Wisteria just said this is one of the best parts in the whole series. Okay. We're come and go as we please. All Let's right. see if we can communicate with them now. And I have an SOS. 
The SLS cam uses a grid you see, of I, I, wi I wish they used this um, on the stage to see if that stage ghost was put it on our performance for them. Light to recognize human-like objects in front of it, even in complete darkness. Whoa-oh. We got a dancer? Oh, wow, we already got some. <laughs> this looks like somebody is sitting by the wash. Well, that oh, no, 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 it's sitting right by the bedside. Is that so? Whoa, whoa! They're, they got a almost bed ghost. Flip. It's just standing on the bed. It's kind With of its legs spread, <laughs> spread out, spread wide. Well, it's yeah, that's definitely <laughs> on the bed. Yep. Okay. Well, well if you, I like if, to if you two would like to us to leave, if you're trying to. No, do no, 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 no. I mean, it does look incredibly erotic. Well, whatever they're doing, it looks like they're having a good time. Where's that hand going? That's kind of what I was looking at. Well, now they're. Maybe she's just fuddling with her zipper. I don't know. It could also be Mr. Thomas himself. You know how you ever have like your underwear right up your crotch a little bit? He's just he's just adjusting it repeatedly. Uh, sure. Or this is Yankee Jim. Is this one of you, Anna or Thomas? Because we are in your bedroom. <laughs> could you show us a sign? Could you wave to us? That's kind uh... of actually waving with the right hand. That's kind of fun. <laughs> and really moving towards that crotch. <laughs> um, Oh, it's kind of kind of hot here. I'm it's actually starting to I'm starting to sweat. Yeah. 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 It's oh, working. Boy. Imagine them getting it on right now, and they look at the foot of their bed, and just two men, two, just staring at them, <laughs> with cameras. It's getting kind of hot in here. <laughs> oh, they just disappeared as soon as I said. <gasps> no, they did. It's, it's gone. gone. Okay. And now we move to the final phase of the hunt. Fantastic. Individual investigation. Looks like they did find the a ghost. Entire building. Yippee! Last time we only was that. Is, are you saying parlor. is that the best bit of the show? That bit in for, particular. For five minutes. Yes. We now did. we get the whole building to ourselves. Oh, look at me! You know what's going to be spooky for you is the courtroom. I think the whole house is going to suck balls, but um, that probably might suck a couple more balls than usual. I, they got to put that on the on the plaque <laughs> of that house. A yeah. little quote from Ryan Bergara: "Whole house sucks balls." Ryan Bergara. But ghost this, files. But this room sucked a couple more <laughs> balls. <laughs> I'm gonna head in there and you know okay. do my thing, get all up in it. Yeah, take your time, dude. Introduce the Whaleys to uh, the big guy. You're talking about you. yeah. oh, Okay, you're talking about you. Yeah. Well, it's just weird that you were like, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna I think the this is always my guy. favorite you know? portion oh, of oh, the episode. I, I wasn't really sure what you're getting no, at. No, 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 no. That's that's not for this series. So here's how our solo investigations will work. Shane and I will each have 20 minutes of solid alone time in the location. Shane will go first, and at the end of his time, we'll hide a walkie-talkie in a room inside the building. Mm -hmm. Once Shane returns, he'll reveal to me the walkie-talkie location. Then it's my turn. I'll enter the building, and only after radioing back to Shane with the hidden walkie-talkie will the clock start on my 20 minutes of solo investigation. Aye, aye, Captain. Let the games begin. Okay. Get in there. Oh, oh. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you. Careful, Whoa. it's an antique. Oh, sorry, that was a little rough. Okay, I'm here in the courtroom. It's kind of tough to walk around with this helmet on and my body just being the way it is. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. See it's kind of crazy like clockwork how these happen. episodes unfold. I'm going to turn my light out and bask in the darkness. I'm going to joke around, have a good time. Wild to imagine that so many people have also sat in this exact spot. And just oh, he's in the back hands. corner courtroom chair. End, and uh, I'm by myself, and my mind takes over. If there's anyone here, please reach out on my little magical device. Heavy. You're up. Okay. <laughs> Not super inspiring there. Heavy Europe. I'm sure he's in there screaming at things right now. Judge. Judge! Oh, they're in a, they're in a court. Judge David, interrupt. Are you mad because I'm interrupting you? Uh, they're, they're in a courthouse. You don't like my tone? Probably screaming at that poor woman inside the, uh, the jury room. Hey, you fucking butthole. <laughs> you know, real juvenile stuff. Me, I'm going to go in there and give a proper investigation. I'm going to go in there and I'm going to retreat from my own shadow. I'm looking down three doorways right now. That's got to be significant, right? Because 
thresholds are like portals, right? You, you just expect to turn the light on and see a ghoul. Let's see. I just want to see a scary judge sitting at the bench. You got to catch the ghost by a surprise. Every time I walk into one of these places, I'm always thinking like, you know what? This one isn't that bad. Maybe I won't. You can go fuck yourself, sir. Hey, uh, do you have your radio on? Did he yeah, get... I had it on the whole time. Oh, I was doing a check and I, you weren't responding, so I was just making sure it was on. I know what to tell you. <laughs> well, he had it off. Stairs for a bit. Fun to do. We were hanging out on some stairs earlier this season that had a little devil baby. Oh, yeah. You guys don't have one of those, right? They like stairs. The devil baby. I'll never they forget. Like his theater. And I don't know if you know any of uh, the, the famous Hamlet speech. But I'd love for you to do just a, a couple lines of that speech. To the imaginary ghost audience. Can you do that? Uh, yeah, gotcha. To be or not to be? That is the question. <laughs> Why there is a uh, nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing um... that, that, that's enough. That's that's enough. Thus, conscious doth make coward of us all, and the the fate of you of resolution is sickly to all the cast of thought and enterprises of great peace and moment with this regard <laughs> that. He's gone. I said a couple lines. <laughs> All right. Well, that was an adventure. You started to sound like Fozzie Bear there for a second, and then at the end, you were full John <laughs> Kennedy. That was a that was a good performance. <coughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah, they're, the ghosts are all clapping for me. Can you go to the top of go the stairs? Go big or go home. Absolutely. And sit crisscross applesauce with your back to the, uh, I'm trying to think of which one would suck more, back to the stairs or back to the uh, rooms. I guess looking down the stairs is kind of creepy, though if a ghost pushed me from the I front like and then I'd fall backwards back to the down stairs the stairs. Is pretty I, creepy. As a child, I was never good at doing uh, backward somersaults because I had a real big tummy. <laughs> His face. A lot of unnecessary <laughs> information, but uh, how about you just do crisscross applesauce <gasps> looking down the stairs? And then call out the I feel like it's creepier to imagine your back to the stairs and then imagining like something crawling up the stairs to get you while your back is turned. I feel like that might be the more creepy option. Don't know. Oh no, maybe yeah, it's pretty ominous maybe. here at the top of the stairs. It's a spooky look. Squeeze me, Jim. <laughs> Jim. Squeeze me, Jim. Come on, Jim. Look at this chest. Squeeze it. Squeeze me, Jim! Is that Shane? Squeeze me, Jim! Come on, Jim, squeeze me! One last thing. There's a photo of Thomas Whaley. Yeah, I want you to look at him dead in the eyes and tell him he has to do better. Well, that looks like him. Hey, Thomas. Uh, Ryan says you have to do better in terms of haunting. Uh, and Jim, if you're looking for a good squeeze, Ryan's a great squeeze. This has been an absolute treat. Folks, pleasure to see you again. Thank you for having me. Tommy Whaley, you look like an absolute maniac. Oh, oh. <laughs> Another burp. Oh, so happy <laughs> to see you. Good. It was really nice in there. I got a squeeze from Jim. What, uh, what did he squeeze? Oh, he squeezed me up and down. He squeezed me like a little grapefruit. <laughs> like a little water weenie? Yeah, that's right. So uh, I told him to save his best squeezes for you. Um, well, you're going to have fun in there. Oh. Let's just get it over with. Echo in there is so cavernous. You know what I realized Scary. is um, for your solo, I didn't give you the key. You were supposed to walk in there with the key. Oh, go well. I think it would have diluted it if both of us walked around in there with that key. So now you've got it, and uh, they can all glom on to you. Oh yeah, It'll he like gets a special object. Hit by all those goo balls, except it'll be ghosts. <laughs> Remember that? Close the fucking door. Close the door. 
good way. Shit. All right, find the walkie. Find the walkie. This sucks ass. This sucks so much ass. This sucks ass. This sucks so much ass. It's been a fun night. Really cool building. Great to be back. Uh, there's Black Widow over there. That's cool. Don't see those very often. Oh, what a night. Okay. Walkie, walkie, walkie. Walkie. Dude. Where is this walkie? I hid the walkie behind uh, the little doll. I thought it'd be fun to put it behind the doll because then I can speak through the... Well, let's do it right now so you can find it right away. Coming by me, Ryan. I'm just a little baby girl. <laughs> Thanks, that's pretty cool. What the hell? Where the fuck is this one? Oh, is it like underneath the doll? I can't believe you hid it in this room, you little dick. It took me forever to find this thing. All right, I'm starting my clock right now. Here we go. Yeah, we're having a good time. Crew's very bored and tired. They're all looking at their phones. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> really good. <laughs> Ready to go. This sucks so much balls, dude. I'm gonna turn the spirit box on. Oh yeah, spirit box time, baby. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I did it the other way, too. What a dick. <laughs> it goes both ways. So uncool. Jesus Christ, all the family photos around here is just fucking awful. It's cool to have a court in your uh, house, too, to see people uh, be tried for their crimes. You wake up, have an English muffin, watch someone get sentenced to death. Wait, did they did cool. they actively live in the house while it was an active courtroom, or did they make the courtroom after they lived there? That cool. Interesting. All right, I'm in the vortex. Okay. Why are you in this room? What did you do to be in this courtroom? Help. Help. They lived there while it was a courthouse. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm just gonna give you some silence. I'm gonna turn off my light. Interesting. Interesting combination. House and courthouse. Doorway. Just waiting for something to walk past it. Ah, oh, this sucks so much ass. Okay. I feel like Ryan's not You're having okay. a good time right now. You're okay. I don't know. A Get in a vibe. On the things that we <laughs> and a theater. And see. When it's alone time, I can I can <laughs> level with you guys. Uh, none of the evidence was convincing or uh, compelling. Uh, it's all baloney. Um, it's been a fun season of walking around buildings. None of these places are on. Yeah, I'm something. with Shane. Okay. All right. Let's try it in here. Yankee Jim, you might remember me. Are you guys a My Shane or a Ryan? Can you say Ryan back to me or any of the Whaley family if you want to talk? Have a little chat. You know? Yo, you want to be... I want to be what? Dead? Did you say dead? No? Just gonna do some laps around this parlor right now. Just doing some walk arounds. If anybody would like to make contact, please don't do so. <laughs> <laughs> I did not want to see anybody. Or if you want to communicate, right please That's don't. Time has passed, frankly. I, 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 we had a lot of chances. There was a whole film crew here before. No reason to wait till now. Do know that if you do come out now, uh, I will be forced to fight you. I'm sorry, but that's just how I feel. I'm gonna take that candlestick and shove it up your ghostly uh, anus. Lit, mind you. I'm gonna light the candle and then stick the waxy apparatus right up your uh, boo bung hole. When we visit locations we've been I to before. I feel like Ryan's know, fear levels correlate directly to how unhinged his dialogue gets. The more unhinged he is, the more scared he is. And honestly, it's, relatable. Uh, territory we've covered, so that's, he's got a little bit of an edge. Here we go. Coming upstairs. Whee! <laughs> Coming upstairs. Are you ready? He got married like two weeks ago. And now he's. Uh, I am telling you right now do not make contact with me 
or I will be forced <laughs> to kill you. That's the voice of somebody who's already dead. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh yeah, what's the rustling? I hear some rustling. I don't like that. Remember. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! I just heard hi. Who is that? Yeah, what was that? Oh my god! Where is that coming from? Hello? Please don't show yourself. Do not show yourself. Oh God, was that just you, Shane? Thank God. Oh, oh, fucking Christ. That was scared the shit out of me. Woo! Oh, was that Shane? <laughs> Bullshit. No, fuck you. Bullshit. <laughs> He's fucking lying. There's no way that wasn't him. It was too clear. It was not me earlier. <laughs> you don't think I know your tricks? I'm honestly telling you right now, the whole crew is out here. I, they can attest to this. When you thought you heard someone say hi, I did not say hi to you. I just did it the second time. Oh shit, are you fucking serious? Are you not kidding? <laughs> oh! Where's that balls. coming so from? Like that. You should go check Look, that guys, out. I told you, we have five minutes left here. All we had to do was no one make contact with anybody, <laughs> and we could all get out of this scot free. And now, I have to be see, crazy the rest of this investigation. He's just using reverse psychology on Asian the ghosts or I'm not right make now. It out. Uh, Don't make the contact. Theater, uh, and stand at the very back of the theater. Don't do anything creepy. For a minute. And while you're doing that, do I'm not manifest. Up, uh, ask Violet to talk to you. All right, Violet, you could talk to me now, but really don't. <laughs> don't say, but really don't. All right, Violet, you could talk to me now, but actually, I would like you not to. <laughs> Remember our plan. Do not talk to me. All right, I'm at the back of the theater. Turning the lights off. Here we go. Stare at the wall and ask the ghost to kill you. <laughs> Fuck you. All right, ghost, you can kill me now. I'm at the back of the theater. He genuinely still gets pretty, pretty rattled. There's a, there's a, a real fear in his eyes that I think is not uh, phony. I love they've been doing this for so long because the whole BuzzFeed Unsolved thing. How long ago was that? It has to be like more than four years ago. Six years ago, maybe? Has it been six years since like the first episodes of BuzzFeed Unsolved? Maybe not that long. I'm not sure. Turn off all your lights and stand in the middle yeah, of the room. Yeah, four to six years, right? Anything. And he still gets so scared. Fine. <laughs> Lights coming off. It's been a while, he yeah. He talks to himself too much, so I like to make him shut up. <laughs> oh, you don't see that. Time! Come on down, big boy! Thank God. All right, I'm out of here, folks. See you later. You had your chance, but you blew it. And guess what? Daddy's going home now. <laughs> this this sounds this this sounds what? like me whenever I'm leaving a phasmophobia map and I'm in the truck and I'm wrapping up. Like, okay, you guys had your chance. Goodbye. Oh yeah, made it. Another oh, another day. You Fishing for ghost interactions. Yeah. Incredible. What did you hear out there? You promised it wasn't you. I pinky swear. You heard? What did you hear? A little. Hi. Yeah. Yeah, exactly cool. that. Those were I some in, creepy noises. Uh, that I was gonna, if anyone talks to me, I'd be forced to shove a candlestick <laughs> up their ass. No, it was around the time that I, um, I, I tried to, because I heard you in that room, and I tried to push on the door to rattle it, but it didn't even make a noise, so. Yeah, but. I just, uh, I was, uh, 
I had to get crazy there so nothing would interact with me. Yeah, I know. That's your defense mechanism. Get out of here. That's the, yeah, absolutely. Let's go get a San Diego burrito. I'm down with that. Okay. See you later, Whaley House. Bye. That was a good House episode. Serving as a shrine to the past. While that was a pretty good episode. Did you guys like has that? Now shifted to the present. Oh, was do we watch three episodes today? Upstairs? I thought it was going to be much before? shorter, but did what what did we start with? We did St. Ignatius, what? then we did um what the the nunnery one? Hold on. no, wait, hold on. We did Oh, we did the devil baby one. Okay. Well, I think we'll go ahead and we'll stop here because we've just we've been watching Ghost Files for like the past 3 hours and 25 minutes. But if we do this again, um, we have one more episode to watch, and it is The Haunting of Hobo Hill House. Yep, that will be whatever we end up watching next time. I think I will end stream here today because I do have some stuff to do, Why? which is why, you know, I wanted it to be a shorter stream because I have some stuff to get up to. Hi, Ollie. Ollie, I'm ending stream now. You're late. You're late. We've been watching Ghost Files. Ooh, hope you guys enjoyed. That was something different. I usually don't really watch things on stream, but I suppose that's what we did today. If you were new here at all, I hope you enjoyed stream. Um, I'll be live again tomorrow. I think I'll actually play a game this time. Perhaps Phasmophobia. Maybe something goof- Ooh, hold on. Ooh, something cozy? Or something scary? Maybe something spooky? Let me see. ba 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 da ba where do I send you guys? What is... Ooh. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Ooh, I can send you guys over to Kara. Kara's playing Grounded at the moment. Do you guys want to see that? Ooh. Do you think you'll watch... Sa you know what? I've never seen an episode of S the Sam and Col Colby. But they do go hunting stuff. I've never seen that before, so perhaps, yeah, perhaps in the future. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. I uh, hope you enjoyed um, a bit of Ghost Files. Hope that was fun. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We'll come up with something fun to do. Hope you didn't mind the lazy stream. The lazy stream today where we just watch other people's content. <laughs> But yeah, I gotta go do some stuff. So goodbye, everybody. If you're new here at all, hope you had a good time. Goodbye. I'm gonna leave. See you later. Goodbye. Bye 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 bye. Bye 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 bye. <laughs>